and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tuning in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At a show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Good night, good night, good night to you and you and and you and welcome to this evening's edition of real talk the show where we discuss everything real you go through it i go through it we all go through various things from time to time and guess what it's always so real to us and some people would never really understand it until they go through it for themselves so it's real talk tonight and of course, you're tuned to Styles FM Radio. It's the 96.1, 96.5, and the 96.7 on the FM dial. Tonight, my co-host is none other than DJ Prestige, Mr. Smoozik. All right, so he and I will be holding down the show tonight. And it's been a while since I've seen him. Hi, Prestige. I want to say good night, good night. Good night uh, to um, <coughs> to our listening audience. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it's been a while. Yeah. You look so sharp. Something changed and about you. Is what? You know? Something changed about you. Tell me is what? Well, if I work, they pay you enough uh, now. Me, me look, me look tired? No, you don't look tired. No. I don't? No. I feel popped on you, see? You what? What? Pop tired, down. bud. Yeah. Real talk, tired, real you should, tired. You should call me earlier. <laughs> earlier on, you should call oh, me. Oh, you'd have cracked me up. Me have the remedy. Oh, uh, yes, for sleep? The tiredness. Which is what? Sleep? No, man. What's that? It's sleep. <laughs> energize your body. Oh, oh keep yeah. keep you up. What? Why you think you see all them bus driver, then truck driver, you see my drive all the time, and then just keep driving for so many hours? You think I sleep, then go sleep? You give them the remedy? You give, you give them the remedy? Them know the remedy. Oh, so tell me the remedy, please. You get me? Or it's it? not anything to talk on here. <laughs> I was about to ask <laughs> if it was off because here, you know. it's a money-making thing, too. So it's not anything to talk on here. So ladies, you're going to have to call in tonight or text <laughs> in with my wealth? Prestige <laughs> off air to find out the remedy for tiredness, all right? <laughs> so it's good to have you and you and you and you and on board yeah. so make sure you call your friend up to tell another friend to tell some other friend that real talk is on the radio we go with you from now on until 12 midnight so ensure you stick and stay right throughout the show all right our resident en engineer is none other than the silent assassin cassidy holding things down at master control for us tonight now I must say shout outs to some very, very special peeps across the length and breadth of Jamaica. And you know we're going to go far um, west now. So we go over to our friends in St. Anne who are able, parts of St. Anne, who are able to listen to us via those FM dials. So big ups to all our friends in St. Anne who are locked in and watching and listening in. And of course, all those who go via the World Wide Web. Yes, our friends in St. Mary, large up, large up, large up, enough love, blessings and peace to you all over there. And if you're in the bar right now, wherever you might be, not in the bar, bedroom. Not bar, we're talking about bar. Just in call the bar, it relaxing. entertainment center. I was about to name some other, it's yes. not site name. You can't say the pub. The pub. Yes, no bar business. Hub. Bar business is done, man. You're talking about bar like so we the have lounge. people, have old people and all that no, kind of No, 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 no. It's only old people. No, bar. man. The sure. pub. All the people are, in St. Mary the entertainment who are in the, center, in the entertainment center. The corner seen. pubs and hubs and <laughs> entertainment centers. Kind of <laughs> That's what they call the upon the ends. And they the ends that chill. Yeah. yeah. Big oh, ups yeah, to see. you, all the drivers across Jamaica right now, across America, rolling out those tra trailers and all. Yeah, man. On the go. We want to big you up tonight. And of course, our friends in St. Thomas, Mommy and the crew want to say big ups to Daddy Farron. Not feeling quite well right now, but you know what? Health and strength and enough blessings, we say, and have faith. All right, and hope for a better tomorrow and for great, um, well, progress as it relates to the health situation. All right. Uh, mommy, hold strong and the rest of the family all right and big ups to all the listeners up there in whitehall st thomas all parts of st thomas right now locked into styles fm big ups of course we have andy and the crew um hype fans of styles and everybody else who are locked in you locked in usually from st thomas big ups to you all right big ups to my of course batch of one batch of 96 from Morant bay high school 
Big ups to y'all, yeah. And let me also give shout outs to our friends right here in Portland. All the yardy people, them, all the Portlanders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big ups to you all too I tonight. Really still about Yadi. Yes, <laughs> big ups to you. So, wherever you are again, you know, from in Portland, we want to acknowledge your presence tonight. And my friend dear, that was here last week. Oh Buddha. God, Bob, it's not Bob him name. Um, Where? What's his name, Cassidy? Why do I f- have I forgotten his name? Who was in studio with us last last week? Mm. Oh Lord, Andy. It's not Andy, and man. Andy. It's not Andy. Oh, anyway, his name soon come back to me from Prospect. All right. So, big ups to all the kids. I want to acknowledge a special acknowledgement tonight for all the kids who are in the hospital. The parents who are with them, and you might be going through a rough time. So many kids have been getting sick. Can I tell you? Even at work, so many kids have fallen ill. But there's the flu. I don't know what other virus is out there going around. Um, and whether it's also this other one, um, with a fever one name, the mosquito bite one. I don't remember the name of it. Where the mosquitoes bite, bite you when you get sick. What's mm. that? What's that? What's the that illness we are called? going on. The disease then we are It's not certain name. Eh? <laughs> I know Zika. I know Zika. What's the other um, one name? Um, it's not chick somebody that, either. Somebody that. Which one? Dengue. Dengue fever. To so, oh, hit oh, the word, I can't even call I remember the word. Yes, yeah. that same one. Yeah, my next one, I go so, on too. I want to acknowledge the parents, you know, to keep your kids as best as possible away from even being bitten by mosquitoes. You know, just keep the eye out and look out and protect your kids as much as possible. Big ups to the parents who are fighting the struggle right now. Their kids oh, are just falling ill. A lot of kids I've, I'm, I've heard, even at work, I've mm. seen it. Kids are just just have to be going home because of this illness. So, yeah. parents, our prayers are out with you. We know you're going through a rough time. Even right now, my dear darling Dijanae Johnson is in the hospital as well. Celia, hang in there, my darling. Do not be dismayed. The prayers are going up. Of course, you know your staff is behind you, and your friends are behind you, and family too. All right, and I know that the Lord will give her a speedy recovery, as He will with all the other children across Jamaica who might be hospitalized, those abroad who might be hospitalized. We pray for their speedy recovery and for their strengths. And everybody else who might be feeling sick tonight, claim your healing, claim your blessing, rid your body by faith of whatever ailment is causing you to be sad or depressed or down because Depression and sadness is not of a good place, right? So we want you to recover speedily. And remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So by faith, you shall be made whole. All right? And can I tell you, Prestige, I've had a tumultuous-ish week. But you know... I'm giving thanks. Yeah. Because in everything, I have been reminded to just give thanks. Because sometimes we don't know why things go the way them go. You know, but we have life, we have health, we are in our good right minds for as much as I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have, have to just learn to give thanks in good times. In, and in bad, bad times. times. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Praises. So tonight we're going to have a wonderful show. And just before we go into it some more, let me give you those numbers to hook us up. And of course, acknowledge our social media peeps who are always locked in. In. All right, so if you wish to call us tonight on the local connection or you wish to send a SMS message or a WhatsApp message only, then the number is 876-453-1444. That's local line. And if you are overseas and you wish to call us, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And those on the go number for the USA, Canada, and the UK, Prestige will help me with this one. So the USA, Canada, and UK numbers are... 
712-832-2772. That's United States. UK 033-0606-0944. Canada 647-957-9673. Seven and those are the numbers to get in touch. All right, so listening as you go, and our social media people, we big you up tonight. Two thumbs up and big two and all these things, yeah. So for those who are Instagrammers, let's start with the Instagram fans tonight, yeah. So Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM on Twitter. You can check us out at Styles FM nine six one. And for Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Check out the fan page and see what's going on. Feel free to leave your comment on the Facebook live feed. All right. And of course, remember, all shows are posted afterwards on YouTube. So you can check those out as well. If you missed one, yeah, you can check it out on Styles FM Radio. Got that right? Yeah. Styles FM Radio. Oh, uh, that's that changed. No, you know what me did there. It looked different. Anyways, Styles of Family Radio on YouTube. So all our social media peeps, enough love and respect every time. All right, and we shout out to our friends in Brooklyn and the Bronx, of course, on ninety one point three FM in Brooklyn and one hundred two point nine FM mm-hmm. in the Bronx. Shout outs going out to Diane over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Vivian, always locked in. He stops whatever he's doing to get locked in to real talk. And of course, to all our friends, all our, I don't see them texting in as yet. Let me see the text line, Cassidy. So all our friends who are texting in and Chami Chami and everybody, yeah, 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 Keisha, um, Lisa, Marvin, Texas, Sadie, Donald, my friend, Donald, I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> Donald, sure. Oh. How could I forget Donald? That's a prospect. Yes. Yeah. All right, so Lady Sean in Heart Hill is also locked in. Mama Sadie locked in as well. The beautiful Lisa from Atlanta, Georgia, also locked in. <clears throat> Princess in St. Thomas. Annette in Duck and Field. And... They are rolling out. Good night, good night, good night to you all as well. Mm-hmm. Good to know, Annette. Good to know. Sensei in Johnstown. All right, Sensei. Who's Sensei? Yes, who's Sensei? <laughs> Locked in as <laughs> well. <laughs> all right. So, Miss Brown. While in the court. quiet and beautiful, unassuming Miss Brown in Wallenford, St. Mary. Mm-hmm. Big ups to you, very avid listener of Styles FM. And of course, we shout out to all our friends overseas too who are always locked in. Dandan, Dan, where have you been? I miss you, Dandan, Dan, my friend me. Where are you? I, I can't remember the last, probably about two weeks ago I heard him, but it's like so far. It seems so far and long apart. Mm-hmm. Dan, Dan, I dare you to call me tonight. Dan, Dan, married now. Can <laughs> visit the styles as all oh, used to are, before. What are you saying? Ima- Ima- I would expect his wife to jump on board. Amanda Ima- Manners. All yeah. right. So, we're here, guys, and please feel free to hook us up, share your comment as we go throughout the discussions tonight. Because remember, without you, the show would not be possible. So, it's all about you and you and you. And if it's your first time tonight, hey... Prestige, what do we tell them? Welcome, Welcome. to Real Talk. Oh. All right. We do hope you enjoy the show. Have a laugh every, every, every here and there. And, yeah, you know, share a comment or two because the show is really all about what's real. And we do it in a fun and exciting yet enterta- educational kind of way. All right, so it's now 9.30, guys, and we go to our first break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Don't go anywhere. We soon come. (laughs) 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget, 518-2399. Yo, this is Jati, the reggae best. Join me alongside Jati Jr. Right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, rock steady. And oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, lily, lily, lily. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 or 439 5160 Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, the show is rated AA for adults only. So all the minors should be gone to bed, should be in bed. And of course, the parents alone, the adults alone, adult parents alone should be listening in right now. All right. All right. So just in case you're just joining us, it's Real Talk. And we're going to be talking the real things them tonight, yeah? Things that some people probably shy away from talking about. But right here on Styles FM, on Real Talk, we talk about it. Mm. Yeah? How is your week? hopefully it's going to be helping somebody. How is your week? Um, my week? Yeah. Not How was it? tumultuous. A lot of work mm. and tiresome. Oh. So it's been a busy week. Okay. But I'll bounce. Congratulations. Tonks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them steal it there and go and wonder why Louis can get You know, you know the funny thing about it. Stuff like that. The one you know? ugly. Mm. Oh, that is shined. Really? Yes, man, that same one. Yeah. Shine it, that shine it, boy. Yes, put it out there. Yes, you can't hold it. Load me up. You can't hold it. Mr. Man, yeah, you can't hold it. And let me say, big ups to the beautiful Karen Jackson. My sister said he was, is, is, it was shining on him ugly. Yes, but Karen is the beautiful mm. Karen. Yeah, so shout outs to you, Karen. Karen, if you govern him, yes, yeah. Yeah, he's on the yeah. government, man. Only yeah. a show off. The government. Only come here and go like in a, and on a gov- she government. She govern him out. Yeah, she govern that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy ah. Root. No, let me shout out to UL Jackson. Ah. Yeah, I, I just love ah. UL Jackson. Ah. I just, yeah. I'm tolerating Daddy Root. I say, if you talk him in it, where we the pay you? Same thing so I talk. I tolerate Daddy Root. I, say, I love yeah. UL Jackson. UL is just yeah. wonderful. Yeah, man. Daddy Root. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> I told him he's, he's, he's bipolar, you know. <laughs> uh, All right, so shout outs to Mama Jackson as well. The big first lady Jackson and Papa Jackson. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Father Jacko, is you me talking? You hear about Papa Jackson? See the boss. <laughs> See the boss. Uh, just now. All right, Donald. My comedian, comic reliever, mm. Donald. Yeah. Uh-huh. Big ups to the real talk. I want to shout Don out to uh, Marcia up there in um, South Carolina. Good night to you, Marcia. Locked into Stars FM. Lisa, Yard ba- Vibes Bar, from Brook. Big up a safe every mm-hmm. time, you know? And of course, to the Jamaican AC Club, Club Heights. Yeah. Big up on yourself every, every time. time. Fitzroy, Fitzroy, Gary, the Denise, and the crew. Mm. All right. Big up yourself to Donald. Marjorie. Thank you, thank you. Out of Arizona. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Now let me a blush. <laughs> good night to you, Juicy Max, over there in Canada. <laughs> All right, let's see who else is locked in on the text line, Cassidy. Mm. And of course, it was really good to have Donald. In- he gave me a surprise last week. I didn't know it was him. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. It was- I didn't recognize. Oh, Donald his face. came in. Oh yeah, he was with us. Are we here, sir? Good, the Donald- lovely. Yeah. And Donald, you talk. Her name now going beat me again yeah. because it's. <laughs> What's her name, Cassidy? Who that? Fi- yeah, Safai yeah. Fire. Safai Fire. Yes, okay. she's she on Thursday. Too? Yeah, she was here too. So we had a quadruple kind of night. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So eight zero eight. You see, you locked in. Send the name in so we can have it locked. All right. All right, so tonight, you know, one of my issues that I really, one of my real issues that I have, that I that has been burning rather, mm-hmm. is this issue with the little boy mm-hmm. who got washed away in heavy rains, mm-hmm. due to heavy rains in some, I guess it's a gully or something, mm-hmm. or some culvert thing was in the, where he fell, he fell in the water apparently. Yeah. And got washed away. It, it wasn't recognized or realized that he was missing until probably clearly it was a little too late because I don't think they have they have found his body as yet. Oh, yeah, I'm trying so. to remember exact yeah. community yeah. in which this happened. Um, it's evading me right now, mm. but it's such a sad story. Mm. And in in wrapping my mind and my thoughts around it for a couple of days since I've heard of it, um, it brings me back to just reminding parents and adults alike that sometimes we see a child and I'm not making specific reference to this particular case because I'm not sure the specifics as to what happened, why, how he fell. But just to say, generally speaking, that sometimes we see a child and they might seem mature because some of the little kids are really, really mature, you know, mm-hmm. and we take it for granted that they can manage themselves, you know, and it's just to remind parents, though, that a child, a child, despite how they act, is really a child. And sometimes they don't even know or see their own danger. So if it is that we are walking with a child or some children, it's really for us to either have them in front of us, where we can see every move that they make, because sometimes they'll just wander off. Sometimes. So, so, so that child was walking with um. With parent? an adult, um, to, yeah. um, with the new adult. cell, an adult was there. Yeah. I don't think he was the only child with with the adult. Oh. And it's unfortunate, really unfortunate. Not throwing any blames here or, or or so, but it just leads me to wonder how come you know mm-hmm. th- it, th- that just really happened. Um. Sometimes, like I said, they seem so independent and yeah. they seem like they can manage. But as adults, we are the ones who are supposed to be even smarter and wiser and be more readily able to foresee danger, so to speak. Or say, you know what? This little ear right here is going to look so right. So let me hold this child hand. Come, give me your hand. Let me hold your hand. So if you were even to fall, me holding your hand just might help to prevent that you know what i mean yeah yeah so yeah. parents guardian guardians let us let us be a little bit more vigilant and let's know where our kids are and it it, it extends to parents who at this hour sometimes they are in house inside the house and they don't know where the kids are it's it's a reality yeah whether the child is six 16, 
you know, 15, and you think, oh, 10 year old, they're in grade five, or they're in grade six, they're in grade. They can manage, they're no longer a baby. Mm -hmm. And worse, if you have younger siblings, younger children there, you're thinking, oh, that one is now big, so she can manage or he can manage. Let us not take anything for granted. Miss Janet always tell me that growing up, you know, don't take nothing or anyone for granted. So let us be more vigilant. Let us play our role as parents. You know, I'm going out with kids already. At my, at my previous school and I, they're in my care in the town and me a whole hand it big the 12 year olds I'm holding their hands you know to cross the road you know and they might be like miss mm -hmm. you know one or two might be like miss you're all we on we can would, cross yeah we can cross but mm -hmm. they won't even know so listen my yeah. man when I hold your hand, I know that you're at least coming with me. Yes. And I'm judging that the road is now clear to go. Sometimes they're so distracted. They stop. You gone with some. Mm -hmm. And you look behind us some. So when I, when, I'm, when I say line up and we're going off in, in, in queues, and I see the, the line gone way ahead of me, I say stop. And we're about different to the line. I just stop till the rest of the line catch up until yeah. I catch up. Because they're in front of me. They, yeah. I don't want them to stay behind me. Okay. I want to see what is happening because, you know, know if one can trip, one can push that one, they are a ramp or a play. You know what I mean? So we have to really, really not take it for granted that they are big and they can manage, but be more vigilant, open our eyes. Sometimes we think, oh, they're out in the community where they're, they should be safe, but then you could be inside and some other sick maniac outside molesting your child and you don't know. Mm -hmm. And your child might not be willing to speak because they're afraid. Maybe they're threatened. You know, so always be on the lookout and know what is happening with your children. Don't leave the care of your child to somebody else. No one should be able to take better care of your child than you. Real talk. Yes. Plain and simple. But, you, you know, my head space is not too good right now, you know. Yeah, why yeah. not? Is that always the case? No. Or did you have to eat? From yesterday. Um, yesterday, what were you eating that caused your head to trigger? Mm, I now get to eat it tonight. Oh my, what was it? The place burned down. Oh, sad, yeah, another bundung. sad story. Burned right down. Gosh, our dear, 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 yeah. dear piggy. Yeah. Piggy jerk center. Oh my God, right just at like Skill Corner, dear so. Yeah. Just gone, just so. And our little restaurant mm. beside it, a part of that yeah. got, most of that got damaged too. Yeah. Or we, we really stand by it and we pray and hope that the proprietors will find strength to regroup and, you know, hopefully some of the savings were put down so you can try to go back and, 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 and rebuild. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. The yeah, the restaurant. Yeah. And I think, I think their appliances seem to have been damaged too. Yeah. It's can't get sad. Me, get me COVID and, and, and them things in the more at the restaurant. And I tell you, it was a the two restaurants yeah. were off the chain, good up, good yeah. up places where people really go go support. Yeah, man. And get them things a weekend time, yeah. morning time. The restaurant got provided breakfast, with breakfast, lunch, lunch and, and dinner. Yeah, yeah. Right? And good, of good course, COVID. Piggy, man. on a night like tonight, I know that Piggy's Jerk Center would mm. be full coming down to work tonight, mm. I normally pass there, and I mean, people just stand up out there. Even the chicken are not quite ready yet, they're waiting on the chicken. Yeah. Right? Cars parked up. And I, I know a small businessman trying, the two businesses, small business people trying, and this, um, it's, it's, it's disheartening. It's sad, but we ask you to regroup, right? Don't give up. Don't let this keep you down. Rise up, brush off. And we go at it again, bigger, better, stronger than ever. All right. And the prize are going up for you both as well. All right. And in the meantime, but if you go steal one, go and cook up some chicken or jerk some chicken yourself, you know, or make some sandwiches or mm -hmm. try something else in the time being. Like when and just go and bail, you know. Dumb to and cook. Yeah. Mm, I go home and cook after I finish work. Mm. And you know the funniest thing about it? Mm. You know, the longest while yesterday, mm. I fell for some piggy chicken. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, because I always like go home kind of earlier than, than, it, than it, you the know. You cook stupies today. Uh, me not joke. <laughs> Jesus, you can't tell us what I was saying. Me not joke. Yeah, that's what we cook today. With pig's tail? Yeah. How so dare you go back for some? Steel? 
that one was so. Eh? Go back for some. Wait there, you have more? Yeah. When I'm going home, I'm gonna stop for my share. No, we'll leave her for me Nike. I never ask you what leave for. But that matter. It's no. my own. I want even one of the big steel out not, here. Food I nice. want <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you hear all prestige me with them big steel. <laughs> with them big steel. You don't want to give me the name pig steel. It's alright. It's alright. Where we are going, man? <laughs> Where we are going? I'm a lover of stew peas. Yeah, man. Can I tell you? you? Can I get some? Oh my good. I'm <laughs> Mm. Mother salivate. Yeah, can I get so? Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Woo! With some white rice and yeah. lettuce on the side. No, pure. I'm pure too. Yeah. Yeah, man. Anyway, we're not talking about no food right now because yeah. I'm going to get uh, extra hungry. Nice. You like pear? I love pear. Yeah. Yes. You have two pear trees down a snow hill. Oh. I pick a bag of pear. I come get, can get some of your neighbor in yes, the community. True, true. If you have true, any neighbor, we we'll see. Both times. <laughs> I hope it's a few years coming like when they America. But you know, I have, wake up I, I have access to pear too. But guess mm. what? I don't mind your pear. Nice dry pear. Nice dry pear because you have yeah, You can't just eat it like that. Yeah, I, I don't mind the variety. Trying yeah. all different varieties of yeah. pears. Yeah. I know the water, so, watery one. Good. Right? Nice pear. And it's fat and firm and look good. Firm. Yes, man. Yeah. That's the one I want. Yes. That's the pair I want. Yes. Lisa, very, <laughs> very mean man. Be kind <laughs> to females. It's true. Him not mean, you know. Me not lie. Him not mean. But him yeah. mean within two peas. Yeah. Me not know oh, why. Lisa, out of Atlanta. <laughs> you go on, but y'all just say me mean. <laughs> Vivian, seeing you, seeing you. Hello. Yeah. Carrie and in Springfield Barking Lodge. All right, locked in. Diana in Canada. How do you do, Diana? And Donald is saying, your prestige, go ahead. <laughs> I can't believe me talk to you today. <laughs> Are you cook stupid, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, you're not bridging, you're not bridging, brother. Hmm? What a go on? You say you're not bridging, man. My part never done cook yet. So me come <laughs> tell me so me done That's cook. a good combat. Yeah. That's a good combat. I'll let you done, done cook, Donald. You won't know right yeah. now, right? Yeah. All right, so... We have our Vox Pop, right, Lisa? <laughs> have our Vox Pop idea for tonight. And we're <laughs> going to dive a little bit into it. Mm. And we, we crave your indulgence. Yeah. So make sure you keep me alive tonight yeah. because I'm so beat. It's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And again, where is Bright Yai? Oh, He's gonna sleep. His eyes not bright no more. What happened to bright eye? Yeah, I want to feel his soldier down a buff beard. Which one? The, the, the security one there, the, the big man. But all is a calling. Calling. Yeah. yeah, where are you people? Yeah. Aki out of, out, out of season? Aki. Can you promise no Aki for the longest? You know? Eh? Yeah. Promise you Aki? Yeah. You don't promise me no Aki. Well, let me get him to share with you. <laughs> Let's see who is on <laughs> the <laughs> Facebook Live, Cassidy. Who do we have there? On the FB live before we go into <laughs> before we can we get them up on screen possible? Um before we go into mm. our Vox Pop idea. Eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four. That's eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four. That's the number to get in touch, right? So just feel free. Feel, um participate. Feel free. And that's yeah. a local number. And that's a local number. International uh, number is um nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. So we want to shout out to our friends. That screen's a little bit far from me. Mm. I just get weary. Mm. <laughs> but we do have the bigger screen in front of me here on mm. my right. Mm. So we see the peeps who are on the Facebook Live. Thanks to my dear Cassidy, mm. who is bringing that one up for me as we speak. Mm. So. Let us see who is locked in on the Facebook Live. And you know how the technology go. So you, you asked me about my week. How was your week? Oh, it was okay. It was okay? Mm, yeah, okay. Nothing to really talk about. It's just the same thing every week. That's the same really? thing. It's a routine thing. Not more for that, but I put Antonio. You need to change your routine. I don't mean if you do. I mean if you leave, but that is parish. Look what? Look round. Oh, I like when you see me look round. You like that? Yeah. Oh. I look round. Look like a boxer. Doing? Like a who? Boxer. Well, yeah. Eh? Sort of. Pull a muscle. Uh, I mean, I see muscle yesterday, but I see. 
Mishi with the on live. <laughs> with the on live. Can we take off? Oh, Lord. You see people that come through the screen. Oh, is that... Those are our... <laughs> <laughs> the ladies will be having a warm yes, time, for sure. The screen. <laughs> Tom... Is that Tom Lee Clark? No? Mm. All right. So we still... Uh, where is my FB live? Hmm. Coming up, coming up, coming up. So you've been eating a lot of meat, I know, because you're a meat lover. Ah... Uh. You're a meat lover, you're a meat eater, and I know you're always mm. cooking up a stock. Mm. Why are you smiling like that? Eh? When you say meat eater, what do you mean? Like eat chicken and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this gentleman. Why is he questioning my... Why are you questioning my straightforward when question? Meat, when you say meat eater, what do you mean? You, be more, you're be a more, meat... Yeah. I'm being specific. Yeah. You eat meat. That rhymes, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah, it rhymes. Yeah, when Anyways, cook... you eat meat a lot. Yes, when me cook it. Yeah. Me cook a lot of meat. But you love meat, period. When me cook it. Anything you want to add to the statement is <laughs> up to me you. But... Eat raw meat. <laughs> but nobody does. Eh? Who does. Who eats raw meat? Are it's normally mean? seasoned and cooked. P yeah, people eat raw meat. It's normally man. fresh. People eat beef and them things. And, raw? And, yeah. Cut it up, slice it up, and well, eat, eat it like fresh that. meat, though. Eh? You eat fresh meat. I don't know if pork can eat raw. Do you eat fresh meat? Fresh meat? Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. When the so, butcher does kill the, 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 the yeah, goat. Yeah, that's the best time to have it. it. That's the yeah. best time when it's and fresh. Eat it, you know? Yeah. I love pork. You love pork? And I love, yes, I love pork a lot. Yeah. And I like, I like chicken. And I love curry. I love goat. I don't eat pork. You don't eat pork? No. Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm pig tail. Yeah, me pig tail, but me not. And I see a pork. No, man. What the what is that? You know what? Let us see who is <laughs> on. <laughs> Let us see who is on the Facebook Live because I know your head part gone for you tonight. Am I seeing them now, Cassidy? Gary? All right, so here we go. Gary Davis. <laughs> Oh, my bad, Prestige and Lady Clear. Oh, yes, not that road tonight. All right. And, of course, Ny Nyron McIntosh mm -hmm. up. Okay, like seven up. Oh, and we see Carol there. Brown. Over Bless there. up as well, In Carol. Canada. Canada. Who else is on there? All right. Mm -hmm. So pretty much those peeps right now locked in. Now we know mm -hmm. other person going lock on in no time. Yeah. Good night to you, Carol. Right. All right. So mm -hmm. we go to our... This is so not my chair. Yeah. Oh, it's that's squeaky not your chair? like an old bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. With well, these people, peeps are up as well, Cassidy. Our friends are up as well. All right. So we're going to go into our Vox Pop. And of course, on the next break, you got to get rid of this chair because I want no squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy yeah. and Prestige face well lit up yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, so let's go to our box pop. Remember, feel free to text us on the regular text line yeah. or the yeah. WhatsApp line. You know, you know, before you even get into the the, the box pop, mm -hmm. it, it, it was. I remember like my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I talk, me talk about it today, you know, about the nosy neighbor them, you know. Mm -hmm. I be always I talk about the nosy neighbor them, you know. Mm -hmm. first. You get me I say, right? Mm -hmm. Because back in the days, we used to have them spring bed. Mm -hmm. You know, spring bed with Kaya? Yeah. Yeah. So and so. Yeah. You get me I say? Yeah. And when your parents say my dance and they make time, they hear squeaky, 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 squeaky. So, you know, your nose, nose your neighbor wake up in the morning mm -hmm. and then wake up all from about 3.30, 4 o'clock, you know. Because they might wake up before mm -hmm. cock come off a roost. You get me, I say? Mm -hmm. You get me, I say? Feed them, get the first worm, the early worm. <laughs> <laughs> the first worm. They want to see everything. Go you get me, I say? <laughs> so, who you put out through the back door or the side door, they want to see. <laughs> right? Because they hear the bed in there squeaking the whole night, you know. <laughs> So they want to say, oh, which man is a dual him can I work the last Jesus night? So they wake up at the time and he stand up at the back door, you know. Oh, Jesus. And then drink all three, four cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking joke. coffee. Leave yeah. me alone. No, you're know. you drinking coffee. Not me talking, They're right? telling about tea. Okay, Come back right. an idea. People only drink coffee. You get me a sick. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you drink mint tea and then liquor weird. And just we see. And you see, as they see that door open, and you see them draw <laughs> in. You know, then draw in and draw for them door and I open for them door like and just I come out. <laughs> you ever see that? <laughs> and a joke. It, it sounds it. like something so joke. real. And a joke. <laughs> yeah, and she bought them face now and then that's it. Oh, Miss Gloria, boy. good morning. 
Good morning, yes. Miss Gloria. Just see your Just acknowledge. Ah, yeah. And again. Think next show, so you see. Locked in. You think them easy. <laughs> Cleon James. Yeah. Good night to you too. Cheryl Brown Sugar Wilson. Parthenia. Wow, different kind of name. Mullins, eh? Mungin. A Mungin. Mungin. Yes, Whoa. good night. All right. Mm. Peaches from Pennsylvania. Good night to you, pretty. All righty. Oh, she's shouting out to Paul and um, Peaches. All right. Yeah. Yep. All right. Pick up every time. All right. Who else do we have there? All right. Pretty much. Danielle Williams joined in as well. All right. So we go to her box pop quick, quick, quick. Mm. And we give you what it is before we go up on to the next break. All right. So here goes. Tingling, ling, ling, ling. Wedding bells are ringing. What's the bell sound? Ting ling 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 ling. If you are in a committed common law relationship, so you're with a man or a woman, and you're not married, that's what common law is, right? Yeah. But you're living together, or you're seeing each other. If you are in a committed common law relationship, would it matter if your partner? Isn't interested in being married? Please share your thoughts. So you're in this relationship with this man, ladies, and he shows no interest whatsoever in getting married. Or gentlemen, you're in this committed, or what you think is a committed common law relationship. But this woman seems to have no interest whatsoever in getting married. Or if you ask the question, she does not show an interest. Now, gentlemen, ladies, there could be so many variables that's causing this to be the case. All right, we go to part two. If you saw a photo or a video on social media, <laughs> which is like the talk of the world these days. Everything goes on social media. If you saw a video or a photo on social media of your spouse having crazy fun at a party, but no wedding band is on his finger or on her finger. No, member, your spouse or your band they're married to? You happen to marry to this woman or to this man, and you see a picture or a video of them on social media, uh-huh, and there is no wedding band on their finger, but they're having crazy fun at a party. What would be your reaction when he or she gets home and the ring is on? Uh-huh. Oops. Hey, how would you deal with a situation if you found out on your wedding day that your <clears throat> to be bride or groom is an ex of someone within the bridal party? Mm -hmm. It's not so good. <laughs> Mommy can't even know before. So I'm wrong with that. Mm, it all she, depends. I'm not busy with that. Why do you want that person? Depends on who it is in your wedding. Mm -hmm. I know she. And why married. wouldn't they have? Oh, it, it's uh, mm. it does sound wrong on every level. No sir, I'm not busy with that. Who may have married me feel comfortable? Hold on, with. hold on. Remember, you know, she mm. never knew, you know, mm. or he never knew. Well, it, it, and they should have known so they can decide if they want that person in the party or not. Well, let, let's not make it be a problem now. Deliverance. Yeah. Wedding bells are ringing. If you are in a committed common law relationship, mm -hmm. would it matter if your partner showed no interest at all in being married? Mm -hmm. Share your thoughts on that subject. Part two, if you saw a photo or a video circulating on social media, it all went viral, <laughs> mm -hmm. of your spouse having crazy mad fun at a party, mm -hmm. no wedding band is on. Mm -hmm. What would be your reaction when he or she gets home and you see the ring back pan the finger? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and part three, what would, how would you deal with a situation if you found out on your wedding day that your bride-to-be or your husband-to-be is an ex of someone in the bridal party or your husband or your wife-to-be has an ex 
who is a part of the bridal party. A very, very thought-provoking Vox Pop idea tonight. And of course, right after the 10 o'clock break, we dive into it. Put away our headway. I guess dive is headway, right? <laughs> All right, so it's now pretty much 10 o'clock, guys. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Nassal Native Audio Stage and Lighting are the sponsors of Real Talk. Stick around. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. driver you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone you know so you can get a ticket for this sir really officer but just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know do me a bit you give me a blind huh? so if you need hardware supplies why you don't go to ramtula super center and hardware ramtula super center and hardware 34 folly road port antonio portland we stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town at ramtula's hardware experience the three c's comfort competitive prices and convenience ramtula super center and hardware opens 8 a.m to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> Digital tea. Our brain. Uh-uh. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, off here is always an exciting adventure, can I tell you? Um, we're looking at the Vox Pop tonight, and I read it, we'll read it once more for persons who didn't hear it the first couple of times. All right, here goes. Wedding bells are ringing. If you are in a committed common law relationship, would it matter if your partner isn't interested in being married? Share your thoughts. If you saw a photo or video of a, on social media of your spouse having crazy fun at a party, but no wedding ring is on, what would be your reaction when he or she gets home and the ring is on? Part three, how would you deal with a situation if you found out on your wedding day that your to-be bride or your to-be groom is an ex of someone within the bridal party? So again, the lines are open and feel free to share in this interesting Vox Pop. So, we take part one. Now, these days, it would seem as if, mm -hmm. for some people, or yeah. many are of the view that marriage is pretty much like a little cliche. Mm -hmm. 
and people are doing it for um, the show. Some are doing it for the show. Yes. Some are doing it because they have the resources mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Some are doing it for ulterior motives. Some and it, it seems because... to be losing its, its real essence of what they... The union of marriage is really all about. Yeah, and some do it because a friend bribed them. <laughs> friend bribed them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Friend influenced them. Yes, and and because their family members are getting married, Fa yes. or friends are getting married, and they believe yeah. that okay, my clock is ticking, yeah. well, I can get married too. Yeah. So they, they might pressure the man to get married, or the woman the woman might feel some pressure too in some cases. Yeah. All right. So. Part one, <clears throat> um, you're with someone, and it says a committed common law relationship. So, you know, you have couples live together for years. Years. In a common law situation. Yeah. Things are going great. Well, comfortable. Yeah, they have the ups and downs like is the norm for yes. any relationship, mm -hmm. but they have been able to maintain that commitment with mm -hmm. um, um, to each other. Mm -hmm. And they just never thought of changing what they have because it's good yeah and they never there are people who just never thought that marriage was the way they wanted to go and if me have a relationship like that and if i go good <coughs> for 15 years right i'm comfortable all right me don't want nobody push your nose in my relationship and continue <laughs> thing especially some of them church people eh? oh jesus i come and tell you about you're not going to go to heaven if you don't put on the ring by your finger what's the matter with them <laughs> I'm <laughs> comfortable in my relationship. You're not going to come push your nose on my relationship. And some friends, I'm pushing your nose on my relationship. Me and my common law wife, good. Well, you know, um, if it's, some will argue that if it's a committed relationship mm -hmm. and if you're faithful to each other and you have each other's back yes. and you're supporting yeah. and supportive of each other, then why not just seal the deal by entering into a an official union where you're a legally, binding, a bind, you're legally a binding, bonded, a binding, binding union. Contract. Yes. A binding contract. Why not? It's all about that. Why yeah. not? Why not just take her on as your wife? It's, 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 it's supposed to be a joy to be able to call a woman your wife and vice versa. So, I mean, you have to put ring pan finger and, and, and sit on in front of a person. I'm not saying that, but you can say, "Are your wife?" But legally, so why, eh? for, for her to be legal, for her to be legally yours, yeah. then that's the way to go. Me and her happy, so me all right that way there. And so if, if she, she right doesn't show any interest in marriage, would you see go. it as a problem? No, me good to go. Me Gentlemen, good to go. if you are with a woman. For umpteen years, mm -hmm. 20 years, mm -hmm. 15, 20 years, and she shows no interest in, like, you know, wanting to get married. Gentlemen, tell me the truth. You'd really, really just say, oh, it's okay, no problem. I don't mind. We've been together for so long, happy and okay. So if she don't want married, it's no big deal. But this is Would you look at it that way, gentlemen? But clear, but clear. Yeah, remember this now, you know. If we're there for 15 years, this is most something we still going to talk about every time, all the time, you know. What? Which part of it? The marriage or the union? The marriage. And but the if, union, but if and you we spoke say, about it, why say, not go ahead and do and it? And we say, we don't have a problem with that, baby. We don't have a problem, we don't have a problem with that. Louis, okay. we don't have a problem with that. Don't even so worry ladies. about it. We say, all right, baby, don't worry about that. Everybody live their life the way they want to live it, you know. You get me? Come married, no make your life more comfortable than when you're not married. Says who? It's supposed to. You, you, you get your life get so miserable sometimes when you're married because these women try to control things and feel like they're in control now. Why you believe it's only women alone? I tell me, the I tell men, said. Men too believe that they own the we, women now. We don't even want to put on the ring sometimes. Much less we go worry safe about the control and, and, and go on and kind of weird there. You get me? So when the woman so put that, and then the woman yes, who... the beard then kind of weird, I special with them friend, and I boast in front of them friend and say, look upon this, you know, see this big diamond and them kind of things there. Eh. I don't think you they know? boast. I don't think women boast. That and they can't go down no more when they have a diamond ring, you know. But why would it go down? No more, it's you know? heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> it's, heavy. <laughs> it's a rock. You got to have it up. Yes, sir. That's how show you. Yes, sir. That's how show you. They must salute 24-7. <laughs> you know, see? 24-7. <laughs> 
24 7 them a salute but she's proud of you and her ring what's wrong with that you see if the woman hide her ring and take it off like you at the at the, at the party mm. is a problem mm. but she have it up in the ear cock off mm. her hand like she's miss world waving and it's still a problem how can we please y'all huh? so you can't you can't act normal just like when you never have a ring before you just act normal see you your hand is no longer normal sweetie yeah your hand is now extraordinary. Yeah. So your uh, whole body, your whole uh, body I'm extraordinary. Mark you, I'm just playing the devil's advocate. No, I'm, just I'm not going to walk with my Your whole my body hand then up. extra. I wouldn't be there. walking with my hand up there, mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah. <laughs> kudos to the girls who do it. Mm -hmm. It's your ring, it's your husband, it's your finger. You know, say, you know, say, my witness this. Mm -hmm. Couples been together, right? Mm -hmm. Couple been together for. Umpteen years. Come on, law. Yes. Wife. Right? Mm -hmm. And you see, as soon as the ring put on the finger, mm -hmm. so much problem in her life. I mean, I know where the problem does start from, but it just starts so, because of the woman sometimes, too. Right? Me attack on that side, you know. Me not attack on the man side, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not me on that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the woman them side, it's always be a problem. On the side because they just try to be an, in control now, like at them control everything now. They own everything now. They want to run your life now. Things they used to do before you, you can't do that no more because you're married now. Really? Yeah. I tell me, I tell you, I'm a joke. And people, you have people out there who married, who in a relationship for so many years, I'm married, and they can't testify to that. Right there. So that woman and the control, WhatsApp. Yeah. Women become controlling. Yes. Is that the only problem though? Is, it, is, is there any truth to the fact that a lot of people, the woman changed for the worse in the sense where she no longer wants to be sexy and appealing to the husband. She want to lock shop some of the time and she want to wear the long night to them and she not make herself appealing anymore. Is that true? Well, uh, not on that side, you know, to me. The side with, 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 with me experience is mm -hmm. that... Controlling. Yeah, and, 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 and Juna can take up himself again and go to the entertainment center a Friday day time, go mm -hmm. sit down with him bridging him and play domino no more because he is a married man and he's supposed to step on the road, just leg us up on the road again. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I say, just a ring put on your finger and you sign the piece of paper, just change everything in your life, Juna. <laughs> everything just change. You can't go and enjoy yourself like, no more. I don't like the way that. you're putting it, though. Yeah. And like joke, marriage is a, is, a life, is a death sentence. If you're living your life, right? Your relationship, you're in a relationship, I should say, living it comfortable for 10, 11, 12, 15 years, and you are right, and the two don't have a problem. Because you know, say, what is for, for me is for her too. Mm -hmm. And if you have kids together, you get but, me. But say, as a Christian right? nation, where yeah, we, we are go again now, yes, yeah, we go again, as a Christian man. country, and yeah, we, 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 we believe in the, 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 we the have Bible, the, we are, we have then marriage is of God, and it's lawful yeah, thing we to go do. Again. We have all different kind of denomination. Mm -hmm. You get me? We should stay under Christianity. Right? All different. Uh, you have the de denomination where. Them are not, not dealing with married. They're not dealing with marriage, none at all. Which you one have, you know? Where they not eat pork. That's different. You have some of them where they not give blood. All of them pretty much you um, get me? A support marriage. You have some of them who, who have three, four, five, six wives. Mm. Yeah, yes, where I come from. Yeah, so if you live your life, I mean, I live for my life, well comfortable, right? For 15 years. And then she say, Honey, we don't have a problem. You get me? But Everything what if she okay. wants to? If what she, if she wants when you, if, you, you, you are rejecting? Wouldn't that be sending her some kind of message? Yes. If she, if, if she wants to marry, right? Yes. And you, she comes to you and, and, and she's no. hinting at it. I say no. I say no. But it must be I, a problem now. It must be no, baby, not no, because, you know. And she has say, but it's 15 years now. So it mm -hmm. have to be, it have to be something wrong. It have to be something wrong. Why me no wa uh, Seriously? Okay, it, so it let, let's, let's dissect wrong. it and see. Yes. Some of the issues that could cause a man for let's go to the men first, mm -hmm. yeah? That could cause a partner to not be interested. Mm -hmm. And I, I want our listeners to, to share yeah. if it is that they believe that 
it has to be a case where something is wrong. Something. One of has my to thoughts be wrong. could be yeah. that one of the reasons why you find that a man might not want to get married, or mm. maybe even a woman, mm. maybe he or she, maybe they were married before. And that bad experience that they had, that 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 awful experience that they might have had, mm-hmm. now makes them fearful of re-entering that kind of union. Yes. So maybe they're with somebody now who is really just, it's really good, it's going great. Mm-hmm. And they fear. And they still have a fear. Yeah, they might still have mm-hmm. that fear lingering that if I should get married, yes. this is going to be, there will be some changes of this nature. Yeah. X and Y will change. This will change. And I, and, and I find that I don't have that courage again put to myself back again put myself situation. in a position where I'm now vulnerable yeah. because if I have a la- piece of land or a yeah. house or yeah. whatever, yeah. I'm going to now have to share this with my husband. Well, well, well it, it and, 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 be, and, be, and before, maybe yeah. before, it was such a bad, a bad end that they might have lost mm-hmm. property, wealth. You know, yeah. lost significantly. How do you motivate a person despite how they might feel about this other person? Yeah. It could be very, very difficult a, a decision to make again to go back down that road. That's one. What about if it if it, if it never married before? If you never married before, so if the person, are you there with that person for ten years, right? And that person said to you, say, um, said to me, um, Louis, you know, um, what about? If we just, you know, mm-hmm. get married and mm, go into our church and stuff mm-hmm. like that. First of all, I'm going to say to her, you may not be able, we're not have to marry to go in a church, you know. <laughs> all right. I'm going to say that to her. So she's going to say the next thing now to me, right? And maybe just forget about the church thing now and just say the, the next thing to me now and say about the youth them now. You mm-hmm. get me? I say, we want to grow them up in this way yes. and X, Y, Z, right? That's a good so way I go to say go. Now, I go say, well, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not, give me some time, let me think about it. You know? But, but did you because know? Because here now, I see some fault, even though me and I are deal for 10 years, I see some fault now pop up. So why you not so tell her and try to sa- resolve we, them? No, we are going to sort it out. You we tell her, but you no, tell her? Me tell her, give me some time with the marriage. And so we are going to start that out now. So we are no, going to start it out. So you're going to take her the next five years before that start out. <laughs> five years to start out what? What's wrong with that? Where we have to rush? Five years? Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to evade some, the marriage. Some people fall, take long for the start out, you know. You and think some can't. And some can't. So you have to move on. You think you're going to start it out. So what do you, with, after 10, 15 years or more, yeah. you're seeing things that yeah. you say, boy... Mm. Me not think me can work with this. With, the, with so the why continue then? Eh? If it's why continue? If no, you're gonna stick around same way and no, say, it, oh, five years no, time, no, let's no. work it out. Yeah, where we are working it out with the five years time, things may get better. You get me? I say within that or time. Or worse, right? Because let me tell you something. If me see certain fault in that young lady, right? Mm-hmm. When me there with ten year, I'm, I mean, me say twice, say, babe, give me some time, you know, because we need to sit down and talk about certain things and stuff like that. You know, and we did that we talk about it. Maybe we can work it out and it work out all right. Maybe we can't work it out. I mean I wanna put a ring pan finger and they make her feel uncomfortable in the relationship. Mm. <laughs> right? But, but did Just you to know make she feel but but did, but did you know that if a woman shows interest in marriage mm. after a couple years or a mm. certain year number yeah. of years of commitment in yeah. a common relationship? If she shows the interest in marriage and you shun her, mm-hmm. that in and of itself can create problems in the relationship now. Mm. The same commitment um, relationship that was going so well, the fact that she detects that somehow he's evading marriage, you know, want to talk about it, give, give him some time to think about it. And every time she hints at it, you turn it down, you pour cold water on it. That in and of itself can give her all kind of different negative thoughts now and change your relationship for the worse. Yeah. That's a, po- that's a, that's a point. Yeah, but, but what happened when... Which, when woman, which woman wants to stay there? But if she asks me, if she, she put it again to me, propose to me again. For years. Right? And I said to her, I said, Without. Babe, babe, what we have a start out, it's not finished as yet, you know. Listen up. <laughs> remember, remember, say, you didn't come clearly with an answer to me, you know. Right? 
you say you was going to think about it, right? And I'm waiting on you to get back to me and that. You know, see it, you know? So she linger, linger too. Because when me said to her, you know, she have to think about where to come back to me, you can say, you know, because she knows, say, right? Oh, you Lord. see them fall in her eye, she knows say, she have them fall there. <laughs> she know. I, I, I see the name you were, but I know it's Daddy Rude texting because when yeah. I'm reading them, clearly it's not you were texting, it's Daddy Rude. So hear mm. what Daddy Rude has to say. Mm. Woman are going like she owned the man. Yeah. And stop the certain things. I'll stop shave it. Lord, I told you it was Daddy Rude, you know, mm. I told you. She get what she want, like it's a degree she finally get. <laughs> so she stopped with her assignment. <laughs> Real talk. Cut short on the homework. Real talk. Oh boy. Real talk. And there are men too who mm. think that, oh, now they have the trophy wife. Pack, polish her, put her down nice, pa, uh, like figurine, pa, entertainment center, or pa, long time whatnot for mm. some men. Mm -hmm. And um, put her upon all different pedestal and leave her there. Mm -hmm. Just put her down and leave her. Mm -hmm. And they don't care about the woman anymore. They don't surprise her. Anniversary them forget. Birthdays they forget. Mm -hmm. Right? That's just little appreciative gestures they don't do. Mm -hmm. But then they expect this woman to continue to treat them like the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. How do you expect to get something you ain't given? You want pampering, you need to give her. All of a sudden, it's hot. All of a sudden, it's hot because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You well, daddy rude, sorry. You're not doing what you're supposed to do or what you used to do. So, of course, this woman will start hold back too. So, it takes the effort of the two people them. So, instead of you men just sitting there and, and bashing that, oh, the woman stop shaving it. And mm. she stopped this. Mm. And she stopped that. Mm. Admit too that while some women stop doing these things with true, mm -hmm. assess what could be the reason for that. And the men too who not doing what they used to do because they think, oh, you know what? The other no, she ring up on her finger, femiar, anything me say goes, and let us put her a yard, make sure she go and wash, cook and clean, because I fear I think that she a wife now, and I'll go do road. Yeah, there are not... men who do that. Yeah, but she if you play the role, because she wants to be her... a wife. Hold on. What is her role? Wife. As... Hold on. Play the wife role. Hold on, darling. If I she want to play, because she want to ring her finger, so play the wife role. So explain to me now. Yeah. No, now I'm getting hot. Put it, yeah. You want now the fan I'm getting hot. You want the fan? I want to turn up ESC. Uh, the, the AC might, might the do AC? it. Yes. Right. I want you to tell yeah. the listening public, mm -hmm. Mr. Prestige, mm -hmm. what is her role? Yeah. Now that she's the wife and we're in the ring, yeah. there's a specific role yes, for yes, her? Yes. Let us hear the role, please. When she was common law mm -hmm. wife, mm -hmm. right? She used to play that role. You get me, I say? Right? Common law wife play that role. We go out and we go have a party. And we go enjoy ourselves. Deliverance, Jesus. You get me, I say? Yes. You listen to me. You want I'm, me to tell you? Yes, I'm listening. We go party. Everywhere we go and go and party. Right? She want to play this decent role now, which is the wife role. Hold because on. a different yeah, category she put herself in now. Mm. And this one she want to put herself. She go lock herself in that position. So she get that role, play that role now. You get me, I say? What is that no, role? She, she must what? You, stay you, home? You, you just say no, you know. Say the church thing, you know. So she go play the church role. Right? Can you say about the church thing? Is it church a role? role? Then, listen, it's a binding, binding contract. Hold on there. She put in her and she wants to play that role. No, so ladies, play the role. Ladies, you get me, I say? what I'm getting Take care from... Of me. Pamper me the right way. That is wife rule. Pamper me the right way. And what you, you doing in return? return? Eh? What should you do in return? Is that one way, is that one way thing, sir? Work. Listen to me. <laughs> Work. Oh, God. Come home, give her a part of me, my money. Mm -hmm. Most of it. Give her the best dance, what she want. Say most of the money. Go you ahead. get me, I say? Yes. Yeah. And she makes sure that she pamper me, take care of me, rub down my feet, and all them kind of things. Stop come it. And take off the Just stop it. Stop and it. Them, and do them things. So there. all you do the, is the give her role. part of the money. Then how shall I get all of my Hold money? On. I said most. Most of what? <laughs> Hold on. So you give her part of the money. Yeah. And you give her the dance that she wants. And that's it. That's all you're going to do? Fear no one rub too. Yeah. Eh? She don't want pampering too. Listen, part of the money, when she get part of that money, she uh -huh. go and get pedicure. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 
I'm never so tired. I am a hard working man. No, no, I always say I demand take care of the house. So me go go work. Hard me go go work. Come in, come take care of the house. Your daddy rule him she not take no book 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 no more. You know see? Be stiff jacket. Right? And she she you know I, I, and again too, <laughs> she have to play the wife role. Play the wife Stop role. Stop saying it like that. Lie down. Right? Relax. And just pamper me. No judgment. Play the wife role. Cassidy, you endorse Play this. Play the wife role. Cassidy, do you endorse this rhetoric where the wife, because she's not wife, her role changes from when she was a common law wife? It must change. If you get ring, pan finger now. All right, forget your answer. Ring. You get me, I say, ring, pan finger now. So you're giving me a ring so I can become your house, housemaid now. So not, 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 keep not, your ring, my love. Keep not, your ring. Not take no ring and we, keep, and we, and we relationship keep, good. Keep your ring. We relationship good. <laughs> you are just stop wearing panty. Yeah. Bay baggy. Bay baggy, yeah. you know. I, know them kind of <laughs> I put on put on some bingo bingo panty and all them kind of oh something there. Goodness. Some panty will reach we and I need to address. Men are awful. You... And I'm a girl girl them. What if she has a big stomach? Big what? A big stomach. <laughs> me and your wife and husband. You get me? Them things that you know have on in the house. <laughs> Go back to the let's see who on the text line be because if you get your earline your ear um do you your, your men, play a wig you wear you men then wig the way you buy America you come down with it and just catch a man on your head it's it's very expensive sir right? and I'm wearing one and right you now. come down you, you lie down in a bed and then you come here and and then you know ears <laughs> then ears smell frowns you and then kind of something there you get me I say can then drop off a sheep then now play the wife role ah, stop saying that. There's no specific role of a wife yep. as opposed to a common law wife. Please. We have a caller on the four five three. Good night. <laughs> Donna, what's sweet you? Donna no. Donna. Donna no. No. Please. What is the wife role, Donna? Tell me. How is the wife role different from the com- <laughs> uh uh? You need to experience so, that. Exactly. That not happen, Donald. That not happen. This is something we experience. All right, me this married, it never happened. Yeah. It never happened. Me married and it happened. Like me, no, me married and it never happened like that. Oh. Yes. The wife was always the wife, you understand? Right. Yeah. She always have her ways and she always have her things and when she deals with it, you understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if the woman, if you're there with a woman for 15 years, yeah. and the minute you put on the ring for her finger, she changed by her. I run up, run like this, you know what? She never, she, when she did that weird for all of the years. Yeah, she was pretending yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, nice and all of that. Yes, pretentious. No, but then I... The ring, she never wore you in her first year. Yeah. If she had not changed after she get the ring. Yes. Yeah, that's right. You know, just change in one week, you know? Nah, man. She not supposed to change none at all, man. How are you, sir, man? Nah, man. No, man. She had... All right. You know, she have a girlfriend at all. Yeah. And she and her, she and her, she and her husband are live good, perfect, for about 20 years now. Yes. And none of them not choose to want to get married. Mm. It not mean uh, something wrong or something. Mm. Them just not choose that road there. Mm. And maybe when them choose that road they're all 50 and together, a year together, and them where they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mm. That means that this agreement where you run into, mm. you put a ring by your finger and all of them things. Them things don't make no sense to them, man. Because once the person is the person, the person going to live out the same person. Yes. Yes, the man said. So the ring doesn't really change nothing. True. It's been 20 years and you live together, you have be able, the same way you should have been with the ring go on. Mm. True. That seems like that. Now, when prestige are talking about with this woman and change for them, Boy, if you get a situation like that, I run, you have to run like this, my boy. No, man. Donald, man. Donald. Donald, in a real life. Let me yeah. tell you. In a real life. You have some woman, man. 
I'm going to tell you. That, that's the truth. Yeah, because they have their friend and they have their family member. Right? The minute you have them over and they have run left them. The <laughs> you get married and you find that so they stay there. You, you have to take a right about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's. Because as you said, what you see in the common law situation mm. and you were able to live with it for 15 years yeah. or you know whatever number yeah. of years yeah. when you get married for real it should be a case I where you say boy i know that this lady have all the ways them but we can live with them yeah and nothing yeah. should be so significant a change true yeah some people are six months they meet them one another and they're married yeah some people they meet them one another within a month and they're married yeah yeah and then, yeah, some people meet them one another in a month and they're married and they're married the last of 70 years. Yes, yeah. true. Yeah, some people live 20 years in our marriage and they're married and tomorrow man, they're married and tomorrow they're married. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's right. about the compatibility, the respect and love for each other. But and I'll the... tell you that in a clear. The woman and the man have a compatible together. Yeah, yeah. And they're about to put God in the midst of Yeah. It. Yeah, you got them in the midst of it. You could have lived together until them son, yeah. You understand? You know, just not have a good relationship after marriage. And the kind of love where you love the man as you love yourself for the woman, yeah. and the man love her as him love himself, so they can forgive yeah. each other. He said you know. He said something earlier. He said, he said, um, the, the woman changed. But mm. then again, sometimes the man changed too. Yes. Sometimes the man gets too possessive. Yo, I'm my own man, you know. Uh, yeah, I was not be of like. Oh, yeah, and he, he, he doesn't value her opinions anymore. She has uh, no contribution to anything. Yeah. He makes all the decisions. Yeah. He's now yeah. controlling her. So yeah. it goes both ways. It's simple. I have simple that. Mm. But Re any relationship will have a last, long, last, long one. That a few times, right? Real talk. We're up on the break, Donald. Thank you so much. Keep it locked, all right? Cool. Yeah. All right, my dear. Always good to hear from Donald. It's now 10.31. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Holy golly! <laughs> Your sadness will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM! Get the showdown! Social commentary! Tune in one tune! Love song. Oh, heavenly. Let them touch your soul. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shock up to the pain. What the things have been done? What the things have been done? What the things have been done? have or are you seeking a place to rent seeking employment or have a job vacancy are you selling a car or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles Sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. 
Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how. Every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Indeed. Welcome back to Real Talk. You're tuned to Styles FM and of course it's DJ Prestige and Lady Cleo on the set tonight and of course our engineer Cassidy sitting in with us. Alright, so we go to some comments quickly um, on our Vox Pop talking about whether or not you know, you'd feel good or you're not feeling so great if your spouse of several years of committed common law relationship shows no interest whatsoever in marriage what's your take on that are you offended by it are you okay with it does it make you start to think mm, maybe he has an agenda maybe she has other plans why after so many years no i'm proposing marriage to her and she's not interested or he's not interested it could be so many reasons and another other reasons probably could be that you know the, the woman might see some sign in this man some attitudes that she's able to tolerate or she's been doing a fine job of tolerating and pushing aside and probably hoping to see if it could change yeah and that could be those, those attitudes or that particular attitude or reaction to things and personality trait could mm. be what is preventing her from leaping to that place. Maybe mm. she wants to go there, mm -hmm. but she's seen where no man, these qualities are not good enough, you know, for me to take on this man as a husband yeah. and vice versa too. It could be where this man sees some qualities and I say, boy, yo, I love the girl, you know, and don't get me wrong. They might still love the person. But then when they think of the, the true essence, for those who do marry with the truest of essence from its original, you know, original meaning. You're talking about that three-month, six-month relationship? No, man. Talking, talking about? about those people who do get married. Mm. No, I'm saying <sighs> when you are saying that the person sees certain... Yes, certain, certain, certain quality. behaviors, or they don't yeah. see certain things Qu yeah, in, that in they would the want to look yeah. for in a, in a, in a wife yeah, You're or talking a about a three-month relationship, a six-month no, relationship, man, it could a be, four, a ten-years relationship. It could be as long as ever. It could be long-term, too. Then, They're in a committed relationship, and they decide to be together. Yeah. But then as they go along, yeah. you know, years have gone by, and they see where mm. there are certain things that I've addressed with this woman. Yeah. I've said certain things to her about my feelings towards certain things. I don't even see where... She, any changes are coming yeah. to this, mm. you know, this attitude that she display, mm. she not change it. Mm. And you think to yourself, can I cope with it in a common law? Okay, I can cope or I'm coping. Mm -hmm. I'm tolerating the situation. Yeah. But there are people who, who, who if they want to get married or they plan to get married, they are getting married with a true sense of this person going to be my wife. Or my husband on a long-term basis. I'm marrying for the long haul. I'm now married for opportunity sake, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I'm marrying for the real essence of what marriage is supposed to be. Not care about the so, fact that we're missing him. No. So this person going to say, okay, because I'm going to marry for this reason. Yeah. I want to ensure that the qualities that I'm getting from the person oh. are the ones that I can live with. Okay. So there are people who will not marry. Mm-hmm. They'll stay in the relationship. Yes. It seems great. Yes. But in the back of their heads. What is why there for me? I cannot marry this man. Because. I cannot marry this woman because yeah. possible, possibly yeah. the, him the drink qualities. Too much. Yeah. Him drink too much. You get me, I say? So and I, I talked to him about it and he's still drinking. He's still drinking. 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 So maybe he comes uh, yeah. in, you know, and yeah. don't, don't, don't get abusive. Yeah. And maybe he comes in and he's, you know, him going, going. But in the back of your head, as a woman, she has a boy. I love this man, but yeah. the drinking yeah. habit to him have, I can't 
tolerate it. I, yeah. can't, I can't get married to him then. Yeah. Because this is not going to stop. Mm -hmm. So there, there are so many reasons that Are can cause a person. But then again, when you think about it, if you're with him for 10 years and he mm. must smoke it all along, yeah. really and truly, you're sticking around for the 10 years. Mm. It's just to keep you getting married because it's not going to stop, but you're still there. Mm. So, you know, but to each his own, I guess people decide whether or not they choose to get married and they will choose the reason why they would or would not. Yeah. But if it is that your partner doesn't show any sign or interest in getting married, it doesn't mean that they don't love you or they love you any less. It doesn't mean that they necessarily see things in you that they don't want to deal with in a marriage situation. And it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's about you. It could very well be the person themselves. They just have that in, internal mm. thought or feeling that this is not where they want to go. So it's for both of you to sit and have a dial dialogue about it yeah. and, and come to some understanding of where your partner stands on the subject yeah, yeah. and where the other partner stands on the subject and don't let nobody force you no woman or man for that matter force you to do it because them want it real talk good night caller on the four five three how are you everything smooth and everything smooth everything smooth <laughs> who, who, is, who am i talking to you or, or daddy road why it uh, depends on which direction you cause this conversation to go. <laughs> okay, that sounds like you well ish. Yes, sir. Yeah. You see, the reality is marriage is not for everyone. Real talk. Right. Because, and it doesn't sound cliche. Mm -hmm. You can be in a good common law relationship and all is well. And when you're married, change it. Real talk. No. It's either you're married and you hit the jackpot, <laughs> or you're married and you, and you lose all your money. Bottom. Yes. There are so many incidents of both experiences. Mm hmm. Right? Wherein, say, a man or a woman, after they're married, certain things improve. Yes. You know, things I'm used to have resistance in doing. You're now more open. Yeah, I'm willing to do it now because I am wife that. Right. You know? Certain things where she never did want to do because I'm a boyfriend. Yes. No husband. She's willing to do it. Yes. Then start sharing more things, maybe of financial, you know, sharing, mm -hmm. you know, account and investment together now that they're married. Right. So... Some people don't want to even have, have kids if they're not married. Mm -hmm. right? Some people all decide to say they're not going to kind of call the game by saying, look, I'm going to my church you now. Mm -hmm. so, but, but, I've got married. But stick up in. None of, none of this is guaranteed whether you're married or not, no? No, it's not guaranteed in terms of the person can, can change or so. Because... Somebody can in a common relationship and change because of frustration. Mm -hmm. Wanting to move to the next level or the next dimension of a relationship of feeling more, you know, integrated, secure. Mm -hmm. Because marriage at times can seem to be just a show. Yes. You know, but it's also a societal thing. But, like, but, what Pre like, like, like what Preston said, the ring become a show off and that is true yes it's true right for many it's a, it, for some. It, 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 it's a it's a it's a symbol of status but, but but as you said that is it that the ring or the marriage itself is what caused the change or is it really the people themselves who misunderstand <clears throat> the whole essence of a marriage and uh, they themselves cause a change and not because they're married all right. Here, it's a psychological. Th it's a psychological thing, you know. Well, put it this way. If it is a, if it is an objective, in other words, if you set out as a life goal to study art, your objective is to say have a house. Mm -hmm. But your the path where you choose 
is to go to school, get qualification to get a, to get a good job in order to can have a house and other things. Mm-hmm. It's the same with it. How a lot of us are brought up is that marriage is an important part of your being. Mm-hmm. So it's a status culture. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be married to be in a good relationship. Sure. It's not a necessity. Right? It is more a want than a need. Mm-hmm. Now, as with many things, after you've achieved that want, you are no, it is no longer a, a thrill. But, 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 because, but, but, because, because them say, no, the thrill is in the hunt and not in the killing. No. Mm-hmm. So, if the objective in the relationship is to achieve a status of being married, after you're married, you have now achieved a status, what, what's next? Mm-hmm. Now, since you've done everything, which is to wash, cook, clean, turn upside down, turn inside mm-hmm. out. That's what you think. Don't have that study. Like a prestige um, to, one. To, to, um, to get a degree. Mm-hmm. You have to study maybe three, four, five hours, you know, non-stop. So now you get a degree while you're still going to study again. So the marriage certificate is now your degree. Mm-hmm. So all the things them where you would do to get that degree, if that are your way of getting it. You're not going to need to do it again. So you're not going to want to share it again. <laughs> right? You're not going to want to accept the book, book, book again. Because you don't achieve your, your certificate, your marriage certificate. Wow. So, and, and to the next objective. It's an unfortunate so, way of looking at it, though. Yeah, but we look at all, all possibilities. Because... We, I, always, we always wonder why there is a change. Yeah, and, and as you rightly because, said, complacency man, kicks... Complacency kicks in on many part, people's parts. Because, because there's no more thrill. What else do they need to do? Because the objective would have been to achieve that. Achieve status. that, yeah. Right? So the flask on the ring and the this and the that and, oh, I'm married and uh, I'm Mrs. This and I'm now Mr. That because that becomes by your name now. Right? So that so, means my approach to marriage is, um, is a Hollywood approach because I've always said from a kid growing up, one. From a kid growing up, I've always said, when, if and when I do get married, mm-hmm. my marriage is going to last because I'm going to do all within my power to ensure, say, it not mash up because I don't want it to mash up. Oh, yeah, say. Yes, man. From me, I pick me and watch a movie. Mm-hmm. So, me, I wonder if in you know, my head, eh? Mills and Bones. Mm-hmm. No, me never watch, used to watch, read the Mills and Bones. But me used to say to myself, say, marriage would have been a sacred thing in my head. Yeah. And how I was brought up too, you understand this, this whole um, religious sacred thing. Maybe we happen to you. So alone, you know? I always say to myself <laughs> that how does, how does marriage tie into religion? Yeah. Now, there are people who believe yeah. Yeah. there are Christians. In, in, in my opinion, mm. there's no relation. Yeah. Oh, that's your opinion, but there are people who right. make a connection oh, between. Listen, God. man. Listen, my youth. There are people who make the connection right. that agree. There, there are Christian principles, yeah. Yeah. and the Bible but, speaks of uni- that union. Yeah. So but Bible, because. Hold on, but, but hold on, hold on. Sorry, but the Bible never say you have to be Christian to married. Yeah. So how does marriage and Christian? How does marriage become? Uh, um a biblical thing. Because in the Christian's holy book, which is the Bible, it speaks the to the... Alone married, my girl. I'm not saying no. I am speaking from the perspective of a Christian now. No, let me ask you this. A Christian nation. So whether it's, whether it's um, Hinduism, yeah, right. whichever, whichever the religion, I'm saying, there are people who believe. Mm-hmm. Generally speaking, but, now there are people who believe in. What about the religion? Hold on. Yes. This is what I'm asking. What about the religion that believes that you must believe in polygamy? That would be their religion. That would be their belief and their practice. Right. No, that's why I'm asking you now. Let's separate marriage from religion and keep religion over there. So. All right. Right. No. If we, send me and my wife, and did we follow, quote-unquote, religion, she a Christian, 
I want to know me how I curl curl. But we have a very good marriage going on. Yes. So leave that over there, so. God that not have nothing to do with how you want to live your life. Because Victoria would have said, I'm born not as an evil York. Mm-hmm. Where from? No, <laughs> there, there is a whole different dimension our people want, our people need, and your objective when it comes down to relationship. Mm-hmm. Then, I said already part of you talking. You know, oh, me finally decides to oh, get married because I couldn't find a reason not to. Mm-hmm. So I never said, boy, all right, boy, this is only I'm going to do my time this age and we are there for so-and-so, so might as well go do it and blah, blah, blah. No, I just couldn't find a reason not to do it. But why did it cross your mind any at all? You don't have to marry to have a good relationship. So why did it cross your mind any at all? Because you don't want her to be my wife. Why? Why? Because I want her to be my wife. There's no wife. <laughs> well, and, and I, why did you want a wife? Why did you Hold think on. you needed a wife? Could Hold you on. have had a common law wife? No. Why no, not? See? What may I say to you? Mm-hmm. That is the thing. Me never get in at the why. Me just say, boy, me can't find a reason not to. Yeah, but no, I'm not asking you why you so, chose her, you know. Hold on, don't get me wrong. So, I'm asking... Why did the idea of marriage cross your mind any at all? Why couldn't it be a case where, you know what? I can find no reason Mm -hmm. why I shouldn't be with this lady. I'm going to be with her. I'm going to take her in my life. I'm going to live with her, have some lovely kids, and live happily ever after. I'm saying, why the idea of marriage itself? No, I'm going to do something. From her standpoint. Yes. Right? It would be a better thing. So she valued it. It was something that she would have valued. Right. Okay. So, as a man now, you want to know, say, you're the right there with your woman. Right. So, as I said, me couldn't find no reason not Why not? to be right there with her. Okay. Yes. Got you. See? Now I got so, you. When you look on, all right, when me look on some of my ex, I'm glad the <laughs> boy, he never got away there. <laughs> because certain things a man put up with, then they don't put up with it. Is that your reason? No, listen, that's not a man. Uh-huh. <laughs> when me look on it. Yes. With me then, with my, you don't know my workaholic attitude. Right. When me tell the source of the accident, boy, I'm going to do that because you have to lie down on the right side of me tonight. And I said, mean, Jesus Christ. Me don't want that to not knock, 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 I'm glad. Yes. God know why I never may me, 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 me smile and thank God say I hear my smile and on it. Mm-hmm. Right? So, this so like where full brethren say compatibility is important. Very important. Certain things, you know, you won't even know how compatible you are until incompatibility should rear its head, you know. Yes. Yep. So, you have to just go and live with it. In fact, last week, you, know, you just go and live with it. Then I'll say, you just go and live with it. Go and live with that <laughs> thing and, 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 until that time come as far as we see. If I, if I till dying kingdom come, then I'll stop. Mm. All right? But to me, if you can live with this smuddy, and if it is not important, then it is not important. If the person wants it. And you, you know, can't find a reason why you shouldn't, then you should. You can't find a why, why you shouldn't. Right. You just work with it. Okay. Real talk. I just saw me there. <laughs> Big up on yourself. Yeah. Big up yourself. That was you, well, people. Common, common sense and well thinking and yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what is on the WhatsApp line. Marcia, South Carolina. Good night, gentle people. Good night to you too, my darling. Big ups to Marlene, locked in as well. And of course, all the other persons we got Sadie earlier, locked in. We go back to the Vox Pop and we dissect it some more because it's very interesting. So ladies, um, as I said before, you know, if you see where the gentleman not showing any signs or interested in marriage, don't start thinking, oh, he has somebody else. Mago left me. He want one next woman. Uh, you know, I'm not good enough. Just try to build the best relationship that you can build together. 
love each other, respect each other, and just work with the flow. If it's all good, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it, okay? All right, so if you saw your, oh Lord, a video on social media of your spouse having crazy fun at a party and in a wedding ring, ring, prestige. Mm -hmm. Now, have any wedding ring, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. What should be my reaction when him come home and him put on a ring on him finger? First of all, let us hear what prestige has to say mm -hmm. when he comes home and I talk to him about seeing this video. See it there? See the video there? Mm -hmm. Your ring not on your finger. Yeah. Tell me what happened now, please. What, what happened? Before I get out the vehicle, me make sure so me take out my ring and me leave it on the vehicle. Because when time I go out, go party, <laughs> you get me, I say, me, me, me party crazy. <laughs> I mean, I want the ring last, <laughs> right? That's or, a good or, one, people. No, no, me I tell you the truth. Or, yeah, some young lady too, you and them dance and pick a ring off your finger. Because if you drink and you're intoxicated, them take off your ring off your finger too. So, me I want the ring last. Mm -hmm. One time, I reach home, I'm in an argument with my wife, but I still got in an argument with her about the ring just for those couple of seconds because she going to see the ring back on my finger. Yes. Right? And I go tell her, say, me leave it in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is real talk. I leave it in the vehicle. So, why you know. never drink responsibly so you don't get drunk? Yeah. And, and all the time we can control right. that. And all the time we can control the drinking thing more time. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Okay. And then we go there. Okay. Yeah. So you got parts things feel nice as I drink. Yeah. Me one, mean drunk and we just drop a gong and we can't move forward with it. You know? Oh, but, but yeah, at the same nice. time, you know what I mean? Feel you know? airy. Yeah. You know, yeah, some young ladies come and just hold on your hand and shake your hand. Mm -hmm. And I play with it and then look away and I pay attention. Mm -hmm. You see me, I say? Mm -hmm. And you are there, maybe I so talk to you about it. You take off my ring. Finger, you don't even know. You take off my ring, put it in your, put in your car because yeah. you're for safety. Yeah, I take off my ring, yeah. Because I, I know anytime I reach home. Yes. Right? If my ring not up on my finger. All right. Right? And it lasts. And when I reach home, I mean, I realize. I argue with me, I got in a. Oh, you're right. Yes, so you go somewhere. Yes. You go yeah. and left it in the bedroom. Right. In the hotel room. Right. And all them kind of things oh. there. So, me just leave it in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right. Go party. So, let me ask you back. this. Yeah. You see me on video. I mm -hmm. have fun. Dance. My friends, they might have fun. And, oh, mm -hmm. one or two guys are hanging around. Mm -hmm. where you bring your ring. ring and, think phone ring not easy for come off. No, 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 no. You not easy mm -mm. for come off. Mm -mm. I wash, me wash so much. I wash you know, you know, so much come off. that the ring just get loose. Yeah. No, 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 me no, no. I wash, I no. cook, me clean. Mm -mm. Pure water, me hand yeah. So my ring just get loose from my finger. So you know, you're not in a problem because ring loose. personally, you don't know, want to have them a diamond there. Hold on a minute. You don't want to have them a diamond Monday. car for safekeeping. What? Because I don't want when I am dancing in the party, it drop off. Where? The way you're going to show off with that diamond when you're at that club. <laughs> you're not going to take you it off. You hear this double standard, ladies? You get me? The way you want to show off this double standard? with that diamond? Because for me, yeah. my diamond will kind of get faded. A party you're dressing, you know? So you can't take it off, but you know? after a while, the diamond now glistens so bright again. No, Mister, you can't go get it clean. Mister, a party you're dressing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Right? No. Can't, can't ladies, mm. ladies, listeners, it is okay for my husband's ring yeah. to be taken off his finger yeah. and put in the car for safety because some girl might have danced with him and draw it off and he's drunk. You realize? Or he you don't know, want to drop off his finger and lost. You realize? But it's not okay yeah. for me who washed my finger then shrink mm. and the ring no longer fitting as it used to the first no, no, night. No, 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 that no work, that no work, I that no work. I take off my ring mm. for safety, mm. put it in my handbag in the vehicle and you see me in the party with my friends mm. having a good time, nothing, nothing explicit, nothing outrageous, mm. just having a great time laughing and having fun drinking mm. two juice mm. and you're telling me mm. that when I come home mm. and you're now seeing the ring on my finger, mm -hmm. What will you have to say to me? Question you why your ring wasn't on your finger in that video. What is yes, the reason is why? No, ladies, please call it. What is me the I'm, reason why? Ladies, call for you to take up, for you to take up, for you to please. take up that ring. You have to eye up that finger. No. You have to swoop up that finger. No. Because no. Let me tell you, your, your, your knuckle, it's when you put on that ring. Call her, when, call oh. her on the four, bright. Call her on the four, five, three. Good night, call her. We lost you. Yeah. Your finger giant. You see right there at the giant? Call eh? hello. We lost the what well, you hold on enough. You hold on. Because you start gun gunning a psych um science now what giant. No, but I not, not wrong with the woman giant. Them, physiology. Fooling them, them make to fit. <laughs> 
and the male, the male ring them never make to fit like that. And you know that too, because we ring that Japan, 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 we, and we have to all get to adjust, adjust every minute. And you know that too. While when Una have to go, more time, more time, Una have to go you to like the jeweler, right? Rude. To go extend on the ring, because when the finger get so fat because of the ring. How did our fingers, fingers get fat? What we don't know when to stop it and wait for them to get married. <laughs> I'm not joke. That's a real talk. Only so what's up, Jews? Oh, yeah. No, Karen. <laughs> so, Ladies, you know, please call in and tackle Prestige. So because question Prestige the fuck is a Why? double standard man tonight. Why your ring wasn't on your finger? No, man. All them something are wickedness, you know. That more for know wicked. why. Donald. And is it that you're out there to impress someone? You See, tell a person lie? That oh. you're you looking someone or what? More for know. So... It's not okay for us to take off our ring. Your ring not supposed to for come off of your finger. And because and it has to come off of your finger because fio. a part of your dressing. Fio not supposed to come off neither. What? My ring? A part of your dressing too. No, 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 no. You no, belong no, no, to no, me no. now. Me know we are using and something there. Your ring go with where Marci you, your, 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 your Let's jewelry. see what Marcia. Yeah, and your chain and them things there. Let's see what Marcia is saying. Miss Cleo, yes. <laughs> we analyzed that diamond. So guess what? Yeah. Leave it at home for housekeeping. Instead of leaving it in the car, oh. argument done with prestige. Thank you. Make sure. So me, it's stay at home. Make sure Better when you leave out and you got a party, me know, so you leave it there. <laughs> right? You leave it there. And if you're going to leave it there, me I'm going to say to you, say, what is the reason why are you leaving the ring? <laughs> Marcia. And it take it, half an hour to take off the ring off of your finger. Him not easy. So what are you going to leave it there for? You're, you're and the I like one. it, I'm going to drop off. You're the one, you will him now. See, we ring get loose because we lose weight. Too stress. <laughs> Too stress. <laughs> And that's really talk. I don't lie, you will tell. Uh, you know, every minute we have to go to the, 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 the jury, we go, go. <coughs> These men are just yes. We ring. Because it get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. You know what? It's 11 o'clock. The time is brought to us by <coughs> BJ Printing Services. Real talk is sponsored by Native Audience Stage and Lighting. Miss Uncom. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors Get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards We can satisfy your printing needs Whether it is for presentation to your clients Or for submitting building and subdivision application Make it VJ Printing Services Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares We will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need We do high quality white paper printing That is water resistant and never fades Unlike traditional blueprint For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Hey! Your standards will never be the same. Yes, on total praise for your authentic gospel music with your truly every day on your number one station, Stars FM. From 12 to 4, roll call and revive at a 3. Come and be blessed. The numbers to call, 453-1444, or the international line, 954-338-7973. You can't miss it. Your Sunday will never be the same, but yours truly every day, every day. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let StylesFM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. 
call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of Fit. Real talk. Welcome back to the show. These men cracking me up, ladies. Um, it's okay for the gentleman to take off his ring when he's at a party, having crazy fun. Nothing wrong with it. And of course, if his wife sees him coming back home and have on the ring, she needs to know that he just took it off for safekeeping. Yes. But the ladies have, lo- have gained weight since yes. marriage, mm-hmm. thanks to the men. <clears throat> so according to them, the ring is now even stuck more to your finger, so it shouldn't be coming off. You're going to have to force it off if you, you get it off. So a woman can go to the party, but she must keep her ring on. She cannot take it off for safekeeping because, you know, yeah. The double standard continues, ladies and gentlemen, with mm-hmm. Daddy Road mm-hmm. and Prestige. If you are going to party and you decide you want to go party and you want you, you see somebody the way you like and then you way that you want to deal with him, you know, can't tell him, keep on your ring and tell him lie. Tell him, see your divorce and you go to divorce. Why you have to take the ring off your finger? <laughs> Yeah, if you see me, you like him, and you know him, I go there at the party. Right? Oh, boy. You know him, I go there at the party. Give him a lie, as usual, one you normally do. Just give him a lie then. Mm. And tell him, say, you know, I, I, I'm going through divorce now, you know what I'm saying? You know? And, and stuff like that. Oh and then, boy. you know, have a good time where you want to have and you come back home. You hear this now, though? Yeah. You hear this now, ladies? You know, take your ring off Go of your finger. Go back to the, 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 the regular text. My ring stay up on your finger. What's happening. Can't you want to live married life? A married life come with that. If you are wash and you're there warm, you can't take it off, put no, it no, on no, and it just up. Off. You take it off when you're there warm and you wash. Oh. Yeah, because soap mess up the diamond oh. and you know so you can't go get it clean again. Oh. I don't have a problem giving you the money to go get it clean, but when you're going out mm-hmm. and it's street to go party and stuff like that, <laughs> you keep your ring up on your finger. That shows so you're married. Ownership. Yes. So controlling. Not controlling. You want it to is be controlling. You want to be in that category. So now you are in that category. So you so just the, work so with you the know program. You don't want in there too. Me? You have to call for your own for you want in that category too. Stay, not, in, stay in that category. No, me don't want my ring glass. Look here, man. Look here. Me, me don't want my ring glass. That you know. may in a problem all the time. Me because I'm a ring glass. Right now. And you feel like so well, oh, him, him, him keep your ring on your finger and he knows your ring slack, you know. And he <laughs> gone out the gang and party <laughs> and he ring jump off on your finger and last. You know, see, oh, I don't know something like he want. You get me? I hear yeah. you. Yeah, so I me make you. sure some security put down the vehicle oh so it can me reach home. You know what I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know a real talk, that too. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Sell up on you, you well, you know. Sell up on you, too, no. Let's see the rest of the box pop of Cassidy. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, for me, if it is that I am seeing a video or a photo of him having crazy fun, mm-hmm. wedding band is off, mm-hmm. Yeah, my reaction is going to have to give me a good explanation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to accept no ring loose, palm mm-hmm. finger, because mm-hmm. I feed him nicely. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put on a little weight so his finger can get fat too, mm-hmm. and the ring can't drop off. So if I come home and say, babe, listen up, we don't need to argue. No, keep on your ring. Right? We don't need keep to argue. Keep on your ring. Your ring right? is your responsibility. Keep it safe. You know, no, come tell me about a girl holding up on your hand and draw off no ring on your finger. You're not a baby. But, but you know, say, you know. So you're going to have to talk to me properly while you ring off your finger. So the man, them, we, we, we're out of party and the girl, and the girl, we're going to them back pocket and pick out them while they talk to them, a baby. When while they gone with their money and everything, a baby them there. Careless. Eh? Careless. When they come dance with them and hug them up and them dance and then just pick them while they talk with it. They can't pick off your ring same way. Careless. Yeah. No big man can't come and say them. No woman come and just pick off your ring off your finger. Take off your ring off your finger just like that. Well, guess what? Oh, then take off your bracelet. They'll, they'll re- pre- I'm I'm vulnerable. I'm a female. Yeah. 
they can see me in the party too and want to take my ring. And no, when I come I, I outside, I must knock them out. Knock you down, man. Them out. Knock you down. I'm going to hold me and take away my jewelry. Well, if them hold you up that way, they and take away your jewelry. We have understanding. I'm leaving it at home because I don't want them to take away my jewelry. Any robbers to hold me up mm. on the street, heading back to my vehicle in the car park, whatever. Mm. I don't want to be assaulted and them take away my gold or my platinum or my diamond ring. So you don't need a ring then on your finger. You didn't need uh, to no. marry them. Listen, no. you didn't need to marry them <laughs> if you're going to just get a ring on your finger for staying at the house with it on. You don't need to marry them. I was just referring you didn't. to... I'm referring to a party, sir, where yeah. I go out. So that means you go out all the time. You're going to go out I'm all the time and people out there can see safe. you and rob you. I'm going to leave it at home for safety. What, what happens when you go into work and somebody just stick your pants, rob you and take off a ring? That means you don't need a ring, then you didn't need to marry them. But I don't have to have a ring. So you're going to just get, get a ring? I married, I don't have to use a ring. Oh, you want it like that? <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem then. We move on, guys. That wouldn't be a problem. Would I love that, that too? That one bone prestige bone. Would I love that too? Ring. Oh boy. Oh boy. Take off ring. <laughs> you and you are sharing the same sentiment. Take off what was you as reaction? Uh, we have a caller on the four five three. Yes, Mr. Jackson. Hi. Sorry for bad out bad out on the air, sir. Mm. Uh-huh. Let me show you our vibes. Uh-huh. Double standard vibe. Not this time. <laughs> me last Mary, a couple of years now. Mm. Right? Under uh, one of the weirdest circumstances. Mm-hmm. See it? You, you hear the... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, me go doctor. And... My ring, just like a pretty, I said, never so tight for my finger. But I'm going to wash my hand. Mm-hmm. And now I'm gonna, when I wash my hand, I take off my ring and dry it. My ring. I'm going like, to feel a wetty, wetty feeling there. Mm-hmm. Right? And me not, me can't tell you to the day what I'm to bring after that. Mm-hmm. That's all I remember. All me know, sir, when me go in my vehicle, Check the pocket, check everything. Go back into the place. Go back into the bathroom. Can't find the ring to the date. What were you doing while you can't be conscious of what happened after you took off the ring? What did you have to eat or drink? And what were you doing while you cannot recall where the ring is? Prestige. Yes. You see why every night I said you got my wife for life? <laughs> <laughs> them the question they should never ask me. Yeah. Right? And that is important. Me tell her exactly what happened. Yes. And she understands. She understands that. You convinced, that you no. convinced no. and no. brainwashed no. Karen at that moment in time. No, what's you know? Mm-hmm. You see, what me tell you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A woman tell she. Yeah, and, and, and you see it? What the man I tell you right? before? That is a compatible relationship. No, no. Me and him I'm only compatible trying. when he's well, UL, Jackson. <laughs> we are only compatible when, when you're when you're UL. You hear? Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. I've tried since then uh-huh. to purchase the same ring. Yes. But the manufacturer has stopped making it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, me don't really have the interest. Mm. Really, but what we can tell you. When I have it on my bossy, mm-hmm. so me show it off, prestige, just like how they show it off. Yeah. Right? You go to some place and you see some hot girl. Yeah. And when they see you, whether or not they're fat for you, mm. you know business, because you know so they can't get it, because you're done, man. Right. right. Right? So. That's why it mustn't come off. Time, That's why it mustn't come prestige, off. Prestige, two things make woman look for you. When you have on the ring and when you have all your youth with you. Because so <laughs> a woman can see it. We're not so glad when someone has fought their ring because at that time we act. Oh, be quiet. Be quiet, daddy rude. When I worry about how we, when we are doing with, with the ring off when we are married, when, yeah. when we are married and everything, we are party. When, when I miss the concept. But yeah. you guys should be glad too when we leave ours at home for safekeeping. We don't want it to get lost. You paid so much for it. We are pres- I'm securing it. Yeah. That's the reason why you need to have it on. Because when you go out, nobody <laughs> not to look for you. 
But why are you scared? Eh? You're, you, you, you are secure and no, knowing but, that. But you are not, secure knowing that you are mine. And gonna, she loves they, me dearly. She won't, no. she won't go anywhere. They're not going to look at you because they are going to say that you are a married woman. But then there are some men who look at you because you are married as a woman. Prestige. Yes. The, the attraction is there as well. Mm -hmm. Right? Because to some men, you know, it's, yes. uh, it's an accomplishment to yes. a married woman, you know. Yes. yes. Right? So, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a two-way street. For some women, they're yeah. glad for the man married, so they don't have the responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And with the wife would have. Yeah. Right? Because no woman out there. <coughs> Sorry. Just a business with a party. None at all. That's, yeah. that, that's why we that's, have to separate when some true. people have both Bible and seven year a curse. A woman not, not give a whatever. Mm. Right? Because if they curse, are they more curse? <laughs> but, but, but tell me something. You, vice versa. Tell me something. So, Whether a woman has a ring on or not, yeah. does it really dictate anything at all if she wants to? Why are you worried that her ring is at home for safekeeping? Really and truly, if she has the ring on and she wants to, ooh, this right. man looks fabulous. She's no, going to look. No. Then know that me tell you before when you go to the club? No. Here's, here's the thing now, you know. You see that when you deliberately, deliberately take off the ring? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have an intention. It's fine. So you're right. You have an no, intention. No, 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 no. But... But 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 Prestige deliberately took his one off because I don't want to tell last. me about, about, about last last woman. Me don't want to last because free ring they never make to fit. What they make for do? They never make to fit yet. The man <laughs> ring them. You will do not share this crap story with him, please. I'm not joke. No, let me share something. You say men not always naturally have big knuckles. Yes. So after the knuckles, the part of the ring up and loose. Yes. Oh Jesus. Yeah, man, I real something. Man. They never make to fit. That was that, that was my issue, you know. Then so he could have passed me no and go down for my finger there, so but anytime me wash me and or anything, it's easy to it slide. Easy to come off. So me have to take it off and dry it. I mean I'll have it all in my pocket until it's dry. Right. So we put it on back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want anything about but ladies now for We have big knuckles too. Your man would have want to know with big knuckles. <laughs> You go on in a picture stand, but no big knuckle. You go on. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't manage to tell you tonight. You two are something else with this ring story. Okay, we lost we lost <laughs> the call there. Let's see what's the what's on the WhatsApp connection, Cassidy. Um the message is, well, Kevin in Tampa, Florida says, Lady Clear, when a person wearing a ring and take it off, it's going to leave an impression on your finger so persons can tell that he or she is married. Yeah, yeah, mm. depending on how long this, it's on the finger too. Mm. All right, next, um, a message coming in there. And again, big up those who are still locked in on the Facebook Live. Uh, Marcia in South Carolina says, Prestige, what... Did you, were you really, what did you really say? Just keep the diamond on and say you're going through a divorce? OMG. Lesson learned, my dear. Out of order, I'm out of order. Yeah. Next, <laughs> next message coming from, um, well, we have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. You're on air. Welcome to Real Talk. Come here, like, come here and daddy road alone as man on call. Yes, he looks so. <laughs> A prestige. Yeah. If you remember saying that the man will wear the ring, you know. And the king man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know yes. And the new dear young ladies, they love when they see the ring on the man's finger. Mm -hmm. Because most of them are side chicks. Yeah. And the side chicks, they love the married man, they because they don't have no responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? And as long as the man have on him ring for them finger, yo, you can party all night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you can't take off your ring and just dip it in the car, because... That's right. Thank you. Yeah, more or less. Mm -hmm. You might last it. Thank you, yeah. Donald. Because the ring might be more valuable by your finger. Than all. And left in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might get more girl mm -hmm. in the party. Yeah, that is your. Donald, me not agree with that part. That is that is your that is your side. 
What happened to the side? What 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 happened to the other side now? Where you are some 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 woman I want to see and have nothing to do with no married man. Man, man. How are you, Donald? More women, more eh? women. More women go for married men. Yes, it's true. Eh? Don't go for single men. It's true, sad to say, but it's no, true. No man, no man, no man, no man, no man, no man, no man. That's why I'm not really get ticket. Yeah, but, 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 Donald, 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 a two side of the thing. Oh boy. Right? I'm not going to tell you, say. You have a look at the aspect of when you're not on a woman. Yeah. You can't get a woman. When you're not on a woman? When you're not a woman, you can't get a woman. Why? The minute you have a woman, you get 500 women. You ever look at it that way there? No. It's true. You ever see it that way there? No. Uh, you don't get more, all right. You don't get more women now that you have a woman now when you never have none. Me get woman anytime, hey. every time when hey. you want. Hey. <laughs> Big talk. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, uh, every time. Me oh not have six, seven women for women that rush me. Well, the, the natural world is. Yeah. The natural world is. And that is what you can tell you. The natural world is. When you're married. Yeah. You're more wanted. Yeah. Than when you're single. In mm-hmm. this era and society. Yes, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah ma. Real talk. Mm. Don't take off your ring, my boy. When you're married. <laughs> when you're married. <laughs> Them I look something when you're married. Them I look something. But you're still getting them. You get me, I say. Still coming when you're not way. married, you get me, I say. You do anything where you want to do. That's yeah, but the thing, when I try to set to you in a breast, yeah. when you're married, it's like you're more wanted yes. than when you're single. Well, I'm going to accept that. You understand? I'm going to accept that. <laughs> no man they want you more as a married man than a single man because they don't want the responsibility in a man. May I accept that? You see, man? Yeah. So I left a ring in my car, man. You <laughs> what, what do I? <laughs> don't leave it in the car. Keep it on. Don't leave the ring yeah, in the car. Don't know. I'm not going to like you again, you know. <laughs> Donald, Donald, <laughs> Donald, <laughs> Donald. Donald. <laughs> Donald. Like, really no, but, but suppose I don't want to go through that. Well, you keep taking it off. Suppose I mean I want to go through that part. That them are rush me. Yeah. Which man don't want yeah. that? Eh? Oh, so you just want to make sure they take off the rings and then I rush you. Right. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> There's two sides of the thing. Thing. <laughs> All right, Donald. Respect, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my dear. Lady Gracie says, <laughs> Prestige, she won't need to take off no ring if you get her a washing machine. Thank you, Gracie. Well, wash it hand. Prestige and Daddy Road, con- contact cement, crazy glue, gorilla glue. <laughs> you want your ring to stand your finger? Get some crazy glue. That's right, Gracie. Good night, caller on the 453. How are you? <laughs> Just done, shake his head. Yes, caller, go right ahead. You're on air. Real, real, real. <laughs> right, right to me. Right, child, good night. <laughs> <laughs> right, I now cry now, put it on the sky, be falling. I want to go watch with the girl, they must buy. Where have you been? Under a rock? Where are you going, Bright Eye? First stage. Where are you going, Father? Left the ring in the car. Right in there, I'm going to leave him, because I don't want the girl, they're going to rush me. Left the ring in the car, yeah, first stage. For me and my wife, you know, no problem. You understand me, Father, when you drink, I don't know, say, boy, when you have flowers. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I had to do the Willy Bugs and all them things, they ring fly guns and all them something, you see me? Yeah, man. Is that the real right reason? Yeah, Papa. Yeah, leave right me yeah. the vehicle. Come in the one, the girl don't yeah. rush me. Right, yeah. Wife. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 man. Is that the real reason why he should leave his ring in the car? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I mean, man, leave it in the car, man, because it's safer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the other reason yeah, why he should leave it in the car? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's safe party when it's done party now. We understand it. Mm-hmm. I come put back yourself together and I put on back your ring. So that's okay for me to do as well, Bright Eye, right? Because I'm keeping it safe. No, man, you keep on your ring, man. <laughs> Jesus have mercy. The woman, they always want a ring, you know? So why would you want to yeah, take man. a ring off your finger? I would not always want a ring on the finger. <laughs> keep your ring by your finger. You- you keep on your ring, you know, for you understand me. Some more when you're, when you're in at the party, you keep off the guys them. But they might be drawn to me more when I have on the ring. No, no, no. That's to say I'm married, man. 
these men? Where did men come from, Gracie? Oh, Lord. Yeah. But you don't know, you know, it's like, you know, more time, you have a woman. He man that foreign, she married, you know. Eh. Uh he man that foreign, and he had a goat, you know. She don't really ring it, do you know? Yes. She don't really ring. She leave that in her handbag, you know what I mean? Eh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then, and more while, you know, it's like, if you have a man goat, you call her her husband, you know, to tell her, to tell her, to tell her thing, you know, to western you know, you know, me and her flowers, you know. Deliverance, Lord. Yeah, man, me and her flowers, man, and you know, tell her, tell her husband, man, to tell her thing, man, yeah, and... So why you not know, use your money and go flowers with the girl? If that's no, the... No, man, what you say, man? If the man do man spend money for, 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 for man, you know. Oh, Jesus, that's not true. That's not true for you. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Bright eye, you make sure no one married no more. <laughs> Bright eye. Yeah, man. Bright eye. Yeah. It's the manly thing to do if you want to take a lady out. Yeah. If you both decide to go out as two mm. consenting adults, mm. Mm. it's the right thing to do is for you to also spend some of the money to take out the lady. Why does she have to? To be the one spending. Worse if it's a first date. Not that she can't spend too, but what I'm saying is, why is that every time you're going out, the man has to send money from West to Western Union for, for you to go out? That's not good. For she to go yes, out. Yes, for she to go out with him and yeah. spend on him. No, right but, here, I can spend too. But she, I take him out. Hey, yo, Kriya. Yes. You not spend the money for no man or man. So how you want to go out to Olande? Deliverance. So bright eye. Yeah, how do you want to go out with the man's woman mm. and be involved with the man's woman but not spend on her? No one do type of car, she have to run that. Jesus deliverance. Oh, so yes, now the car, man, I go. You understand me? Me and I, me and I go and we got, we got, we got a club the other day, the other night. And I see her roll out her, her, her money. Oh, what kind of some of that? I see her take him out. Yeah, man, I tell you, give me some money. Give me some, give me, give me, give me one ten grand, put one gas in the car. I'm going to put that one three, yeah, get three grand out of that. Three grand, seven thousand in my pocket. You got a party, you got a roll up, I see a plan. So when you go to the party, when you go to the party, you buy the drink. Yeah. When you reach the when you reach the party, you buy the drink and the liquor. No, the woman, no, the woman, the woman buy the drink. Come tell me, take one ten thousand for now. Me now, me know how much money you have to put in there. Jesus, deliver me soul. No, sir. Mm -mm. So what you do with the woman seven grand in your pocket, bright here? What you do with it? Let me what me do with that, clear. Jesus. <laughs> right here. Right here in the name of Jesus. Never have a small stroke. I want you, man. My chest plate have burned me. Right here. Right here. But you're a scammer, right here. No, I'm not a scammer. How what you call it? I'm a hustler, man. You're a scammer, man. You're not a smart. <laughs> What's this, man? But right here, some women would have you as a crop. Eh? Yeah? But right here, some women would have you as a crop. Some women would say you're a croft. A croft? Yes. No, I'm, I'm not a croft. But Bright yeah. Eye, it's a dreadful yeah, act you commit. I can't spend a money for a man, woman, and the woman. You must be paid for the service, you know, clear. Jesus. <laughs> no, sir. Mm -mm. Clear. Oh, God. Yes, Bright Eye. Yeah, yeah some, 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 oh. I tell you the other day, you know, this woman, you know, a man that's foreign, you know. See? Mm-hmm. And, and the man that's coming up, clear. I, I, I always talk to you, take up, pick up the man, clear. Yours. Oh. I do want to make the man know, say, I'm uh, a uh, uh, taxi driver, this. Mm-hmm. Clear, I'll never go, I'll never, I'll never, I'll never go to the airport, you know, I'll never go to the airport, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Because me, I wonder if the man, I hear, did I hear, I know, now what? So, me, I show you. Oh, I show you all the women, them skill. Oh, and the man, them skill too. You understand me? 
Yeah, man. But I'm here, I'm here swinging at you, man. Swing song at night time, you know. And the man has come for a foreign. And I'm going to pick him up. Oh, Lord. And the man rolled out in 150 US and give right time. Right here, yeah, yeah, I didn't try bad. You understand me? So pick up yourself, you know. Pick up yourself, bright. Hi, <laughs> bright. End of the day, bright. I want divine intervention, Lord Jesus. Pick up yourself, bright. Every time, yeah. Every time, bright. All right, safe. bright. Yeah. I'm the car, yeah. Yeah, man. Every time. Jesus. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Right, right, <laughs> I'm gonna roll him out. I'm gonna right, roll him out tonight, boy. I may I rolled him out tonight. Right there, she so, so have to pay for the service. Jesus of mercy, yeah. right there is just. Don't spend pan a man on one. Right there is service. just the worst thing pan God land. If you want too tired, you get too tired. Tamika from Saint <laughs> Thomas, man for sure ownership mm. too, and most married man, married man get fat too mm. and have big belly. Mm. True, 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 mm. true, true, true. Um, let's see what uh, what the text line is saying. Cause I think it, I think Bright here just stir up some some comments since since a few min last few minutes. Lady Grace said Bright here croft. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene said Bright here talking to hear Bright Eye talking to hear his voice. <laughs> Sadie says, Whoa, Lord, I tell you, boy, Sadie, Bright Eye yeah, is, is a is a, is a nut and a half. Bright Eye, yeah, story after story after, after story. story. Let's see after what Marlene story. is saying there. Oh, the Bright Eye yeah, easy. Mm -mm. No, sir. <laughs> mm -mm. Bright Eye yeah, life is just too, too exciting. Mm. All right, let's go back to who else is on the text line we're coming up on. The break. Lady Grace says, I pray bright eye changes ways. Oh Lord. Me pray to me love. Me pray to mm -hmm. Tamika. Are the stew peas cause the big belly? <laughs> oh well, you well said that. Be fat says him just like chat. <laughs> All right. So we're up on the eleven thirty break. The <laughs> time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal Clear Sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399, 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. For complete auto repairs and services, come to Akon Auto Technology, located at 33 Bombo Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205. Or email Akon Auto Tech 16 at gmail.com. Akon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. Planning a party? 
club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of native broadcasting network or styles of it welcome back to real talk guys we are up on the next for the next 25 minutes we go more to more real talk we're going to share the vox pop well go back to the vox pop for me and we are going to be hearing what the peeps on the street have to say about the issue the last part of our vox pop says how would you deal with the situation if you found out on your wedding day that your bride to be or husband to be is an as an ex is an ex of someone within the bridal party or is an ex of somebody on the bridal party um i don't know if that's gonna go down very nicely with me i'm gonna be a little bit shaken because my first thought would be why wouldn't he have t- why didn't he tell me or why wouldn't he have told me that um hey cleo sarah whom is from my past or maybe Sarah I'm just meeting in recent times I didn't know the history of Sarah's background per se but because the bridal party um, speaks to the friend friends and family members of both bride and groom so you select persons who you both would know yes or if somebody is close to your to the husband's um, background or lifestyle or life and someone is close to the female and you could always merge those people so let's say he has a friend, close family friend from the past, who may have it say, I'm, I'm sister, like I'm sistering. So in my head, I'm, I'm like him sister. And lo and behold, I'm finding out now on my wedding day that him and his chick used to be happily committed in them common law relationship from a long, long time. And nobody saw it fit to tell me this before. No, no, no. I'm not going to feel good about it. I'm not lie. I am gonna you're gonna see my face changing. Probably all emotions towards the man for that moment are gonna s- drop. Seriously. Because I'm wondering, why would you hide this from me? Let me say, boy. Okay, that was in the past. Your friends now, whatever. Yeah. Um, by all means, we're good. You know, I, I can cope with her being in the party. But the fact that he saw it fit to hide it from me says a lot more to me than just getting, you're over it. I, I just don't think you're over it. So that for me would put a very big weight, a burden on my shoulders right at that wedding. Well, Probably me just, me? Yeah. Boy, I yeah, took myself a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit down, I'm one room somewhere in the, in the, at the hotel, wherever we are. Mm-hmm. Just, just take on myself up for a while. Or I don't know, find some way to escape. I need some space, some time. I need, I need to think. Mm-hmm. Now, on the wedding day, so could suggest... Hold on, man. No. On the wedding day, could suggest before the wedding mm-hmm. or after the, the ceremony gone. Mm-hmm. Now, if the ceremony gone and everything, boy, right the song. Mm. Before even honeymoon reach, we have, a prob- we have a problem. Yeah. In my head space, we have a problem. Yeah. If the wedding not gone yet... I still have a problem. Because I think about all the money me spend up, all the embarrassment, all the humiliation. Mm-hmm. Do I call this wedding off and question and give some more time to see what is really, really happening? Um, dissect this thing some more, investigate some more. What? You know? Mm-hmm. Do I start my my the, the first day of my wedding union with a problem that could have been prevented had my husband been just straight up, plain and straight honest with me. 
Because my thing is, if nothing really they're behind this all, you can say it. Because I can't hold you accountable for what was before me. Mm -hmm. Or I shouldn't. But the fact that, you know, bringing the past, in a sense, into our union by not telling me, I'm feeling that you're holding something out. You're, you're holding out on something. That's my take. Mm -hmm. All right? So, Sadie says, me wouldn't feel no way. He may be, she may be, he may be somebody else, man, but him and my husband, no. Real talk. I get that to Sadie. I get that too, but if you did tell me, I could say it like how she said, sure, mm -hmm. that was then, and my husband no, and mm -hmm. him tell me about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But me no, know, me no, know, me go feel one way. Mm -hmm. And if, if she was only, if she was just at the wedding, sitting in the audience, chilling, my good. But up there with me at my brother, is she really with me? She really wish it was she getting married or not. I don't know. I think I can have something. It, it's sticky. It's funny. But let's see what the peeps on the streets have to say. How me I got in our committed relationship and me now I get married? That no make no sense to me. As long as me in our relationship that is committed, of course me I go and get married. Why are toxic? Can never, nobody, I can't see anybody in a committed relationship and don't want to see it as ma ma marriage in the end. Because something that is committed, you want to have a bond with somebody. So if me in a relationship that is committed, of course me want to get married. Me not go on in our relationship to me. No committed. It meant not did then if me no one get married to a person can that mean a person that know for me. If me have a committed relationship, I wanna get married because that's the end result of it. Me not supposed to in a one committed relationship and me just a live every day. So that's not committed. That is just a relationship. A, me not, me not, I don't even know what to call it as. Call not even for you in a one relationship where you claim say a common law relationship. The main goal at the end of the relationship is to get married. Real talk. If my husband go to a party and me should look at him, I'm not there. And he's having fun with his friends and whatever and take off his wedding ring. Me I go have second thought because right then and there I'm going to feel that there's a woman that he's seen at that party. Because if him I go deny if he wearing wedding band and he always weary. There is somebody there that he's seen. I mean, I go feel justified at the situation. There's something wrong right there. For me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, something is wrong with that. And on the other hand, if you found out, say, my my husband bringing ex come on my um, wedding, Worse if I know somebody where we quote unquote meet or he make me meet already. Me now go feel justified that if I ex well okay the both of us have conversation and share with me not see nothing wrong with it. But if I want ex when me no quote unquote meet and him just invite her, okay, he have a friend coming and when me learn the situation and ex. No, so that can't be justified. Not at all. No for me. Not at my wedding become if me find that oh trust me, me no know how that will how well me that digest that at all because guess what there that mean i'm in the middle of some dangerous lies and it's a different chapter of my life may be begin me no one living at that the lies there no way real talk drama 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 in a real talk well <laughs> i just the last one there first no it wouldn't have nothing to do with the bride if I and I make a one or two pass through with the, some member of the bridal party. No, I pass that. If a current and recent something, then she can go ahead and get upset. But I don't know a thing said. People are going to say a dirty man talk, but more time, you have to test the waters. If a man not test the waters, you won't get it or something. I understand. Post the man test the water as a night before and the man realized, so yo, as much as me and the Empress are there for five, six years, right? This now go really do our attitude and towards certain things and way, way, way. This now go work out. Then, but we know that girl there for 10 years and 
even though I'm not living there, I have a different attitude and very, very, very. So, you know, I'm going to have to turn up to your wedding tomorrow. You know <laughs> People are going to say I don't even think, but a reality. Sometimes, man, they're not yet for test the waters because they get a little sweet juice and the juice lock them down. Yeah? So, they don't know, they know how, you know, Neesberry juice, TSR, you know, sour sap juice, TS, then we know apple juice, apple juice, apple juice. I mean, I think I talk about food Jamaican apple, you know, I talk about the foreign artificial something. You understand? So when man, you know, test the waters, man, understand certain things. Now, see a photo or a video, the lady enjoy herself you know, after married and thing and, and no ring. Man, I go feel that way. Man, I go go and bad. Because you know, <laughs> as a man, you go out and you take off your ring and your party, you know exactly what you did that do. So therefore, if you see a woman, I go so boom, bang, bang, obviously, she has played the same game like we have played too. A reality thing, people. A reality thing. And I don't talk. Woman do it, man do it. And just life, what you have to do. You just know one and I man them a kill off no more. Woman them. Virgin, jump off, done yourself, good to go, make your woman steer. Simple. Um, whew, the married thing there. You know, so I'm sure I start from the first come now. <laughs> a married thing there. And so once bitten, twice shy, fool me once, fool me twice, fool on me, shame on me, as I go. <laughs> Drama. Well, for me, if it's a committed relationship, we're supposed to be talking about wedding. If it's not, if the wedding plan is not involved, then um, you're just spending time with the person, or maybe wasting time. And how would I deal with the wedding couple after seeing a video or a photo? Well, when I get my, when I get a good dance off time first, I mean, as a way of speaking their mind after a good dance. So everything will come out. And on the wedding day, if I see that person around, well, we are married to them. Yeah, we are get married because we don't need black, we get married already, don't. So. Is a reason why I'm choosing me. But then, as I say, but if I get a good talk with him that night when he come home and find out what's happening there, so would I already get my answer already? So seeing that person there, make them go on each other. You know what I'm waiting for. Why, real talk? I hear you. I don't know, but just to analyze, I mean, hi, Coach Marks, by the way. Pick up yourself, Coach. Coach says, what about your friend? You wouldn't be upset with her? No, remember, no, you know, this chick ain't my friend, really. He was the one, you know, that invited her or caused her to be there. Or he said the family caused her to be there. No, I don't see how she reached at my brother party. Mm-hmm. When, if it is that he's, like I said, she's a family friend mm -hmm. on his part, mm -hmm. I guess automatically you would have expected me to have met her at some point or know of her. Mm -hmm. But not knowing that she was my husband's ex or husband-to-be's ex mm -hmm. poses a significant issue for me when I have her as a family friend who then grew up together and he would want her to be in his bridal party. I'm thinking of her in that light. Only to learn that she is an ex. No star. Are you not tell me? No. Uh -uh 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 -uh. That cannot go down nicely. Coach, me not lie. Real talk. Me not gonna feel good about that. My entire trust in him. When you start the question right there, so. Good night, Joel. Back to you. Yeah, put a convenient twist on the thing, my girl. Me not put no convenient twist on it. Is it truth? No. Roger right. truth. So tell me something. No. You okay no. with knowing no. on the wedding day? 
on the wedding day that this woman you know, you know, you know, <laughs> normally uh -huh. our bridal party set up the bridge normally choose who they can fit inside in group the groomsmen and the sister normally choose the bridesmaid. That's that's not like all the time. Come on. No, I said there's no hard and fast rule. Traditionally. Really? No, but there's no hard no and no, fast no, rule that go, what, what, goes all the time. Come on. No, no, fan, no. As the groom, you as the, as the brides as the bride, you select your bridesmaid them. Right? I'm gonna accept that. How how me as a groom, prestige, looking yeah. at the crow. Yeah. I'm saying maybe one or two. <laughs> a victim. What we feel about that? Look here. Just go on. Just go on. Enjoy. Your, All right. You used to send me choose yeah. her. Yeah. You used to send me choose her as 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 a, as a bridesmaid, <clears throat> and you know what I go on. And you leave her in there. My girl, what may I volunteer information for? Look me? here. Is that right? I cut me. I cut you off right now. I have a call on the on the nine five four. You try to come off for the phone. <laughs> Cause yeah, I just want to punch you to the phone right now. We have a, <laughs> call us back, please, sir. Uh, we have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. <laughs> caller on the 954. You're on air. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello? Yes, go ahead, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Charm. That's the presumptuous and bright and liberty. Presumptuous and wicked. True. Where she a go? Where she a go? Where no, no, no. can she go? Where she a go? <laughs> Not at all. Not in my cabinet at all, at all, at all. Uh, that uh, they couldn't digest well with me. No true. True, true. I know me invite her. And you make she come? No. I'm, oh, I'm oh, a sister. Because she's my sister, a good friend, a best friend. I'm she she, my sister. Because my sister is going to be an uninvited guest and just show up. No, my sister. My sister in title to in carry time. one individual. If she want to carry her boyfriend, she carry her boyfriend. If she want to carry her friend, she carry her friend. Because she, she in title to carry somebody from the but guest she, list. But she, that's bad. What she carry she go to? Her best friend. Me no business. Well, if our best friend share, she has to go live. Far from the moment, me know that your ex she can't stand it. Come, me and I, me and I, no, I'm not going no more. Me and I, no, I'm not going yeah, no more, champ. No, no. The two of them are going to kick up at the party. I'm going to shop because she and her. Two of them are going to go where she can't carry her go. <laughs> me and my wife, happy in the marriage. So, me and I'm busy about she again. No, no. Listen, if it's a long time, ex where you have where somebody with me and you relate to. That's a different, but your ex where me no know her and me just cheat. Me no me know where your ex, but I know somebody where me talk to like that. We come up with me. Come shop where. So, so <laughs> me and I'm going to make, you have to know, you have to know all 15 of my ex them? Yes. When they're involved in my wedding, yes. All 15 of them. No, we are, we are come go. No, 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 no. You're not accepted there. Not at all. Not welcome. Oh. All, so you're, you're going to know all 15 of my ex. I don't want to know them. I don't want to know them. But if, they're in, get, yeah, no, if all they are involved in my me. wedding, I need to know. Listen to me. Yeah. At Fimi Special Dear. Mm. That she up all the person that go come at Fimi Special Dear. No, yeah. sir. Me me na, not me, at all. But I'm not going to make nobody yeah, special here. I'm happy. I'm all right with you. We, I, we don't be so about them, babe. I carry one side and you carry me one side. Yeah, we don't want to see you yeah. at all. Yes. We are about it's, it's, it's our special day. I agree, Charm. Our special day. That's why I don't, me don't want she yeah, there. I don't want to see she where she come. I don't know about her. No, I don't want her there. Sorry. She's not supposed to be there. Right. Yeah. Right, Charm. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. So I'm going to accept one of your friends. No, you wouldn't. No, 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 Charm, you see your life funny? My ring can't leave my finger, you know, because of any reason. But their ring can leave their finger yeah. because it is loose. Yeah, your brother, your That's brother. Right. I know, Thank I know, you. girlfriend, women don't know about can come on my wedding, come be a part of my bridal party. But then, mm -hmm. Emma suggests that my ex, so my ex could come there to them if that be the case, um, prestige. I don't have a problem with that. You could be the one, eh? one of the group's men too. I don't have a problem. You sure? Yeah, I don't have a problem. Eh? 
Eh. Well, yeah. that done and gone. That relationship is done and gone. Long time. Problem, but a big problem for me. That relationship done and gone. And your sister friend, your mm. sister, and she happy leave for me. That's oh, oh. right. Real talk, champ. Yeah. I, yes. I, I saw and your sister, the sister set on to. Yes, because what? she knew I want. So if she can come there, and she never and tell me, she know. She not tell she me. Got you not to tell go me. Too. The yes. both of them are leave same true, time. True, 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 true. But you can't tell me if you, if you invite 20, me don't have a problem. No. If you well, want to invite 20, no, no, you no, no, invite no. Mary, me have a problem. Sorry. Invite who? Your, your ex come away. <laughs> See me ready? <laughs> See what? <laughs> Real talk, your yeah, chum. Not at all. Re- yes, honey. Not at all. Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. Thank you, Chummy. <laughs> all right, sweetie. All right. Good so, night, Chum. That we all you and you, L. Jackson. Yeah. Your ex can't come go eat cake if you want to eat cake. If I, I li- don't have a problem. If I clap you, you see? Why would I have a problem? If I clap you, you see? A big cake there where you can cut up and share. Eh. In care of your wife, if you want to care of your wife. Eh. In the because no he's wa- married. He doesn't have no wife. You, you, you're going to put it that way, then no. Other way, you want to put it. No, I'm telling you, he no wife. In girlfriend, then he have. He's not a girlfriend, then he can't come same way. If he can't do it? Come same way. He's not a wife, or a girlfriend. He can't come same way. You're not going to change yourself. I'm not busy with him. I'm be bride, be groomsman. Be what? Groomsman. I don't tell you I'm going to participate in my wedding, you know. You can't go in giant. No, himself. no, no, no. The point is, based yeah. on the Vox Pop, <laughs> him a part of the wedding party. Yeah. He's a part of the bridal party. So this ex that I had... What you say? A part to just come and, 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 no, no, and no, participate? No, 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 like no. In a march, in a suit too. Black yeah. and white suit, grey suit, white suit. Whatever suit. Yeah. He's in a suit too. Not and like, in a march with one girl too. Not, not wrong with that. We don't live happily. I'm here, you are married now. We focus on you. You never you. know, so we, we were. were you did not know we were ex. You we were me? together. Then, if him then, then you might be brother, a good friend. I, 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 and in this side, so. Look, you're not crazy. I, I, you, you might be brother, a good friend. Him can't talk, so no. If you might be brother, a good friend. He might talk, so no. But when he slung and remember and look at your brother, man, best friend, when and, he and, looks, and him, all right. when Prestige and Daddy would look and see how strapped in and gorgeous this brother well, is. What does that have to do with me? And look at how this man tall. And firm. So what does that have to do with me? And no skinny like that the road. That not nothing to do with me. I have six pack, not what? like your belly. What does that have to do with me? And you look and you say, back foot. Yeah. I wonder if, I wonder if, and you see the guy that say, oh my goodness, this man, I'm feeling intimidated, man. It's up to you if you want to set your mind that we are mess up a relationship. You couldn't keep on. It's up to you. You couldn't take out my ring, but that, okay. You go on here, You get me? It's up to you. The way you think, if me and you, I go get married. You suppose you think my way. I have the love my way. We you think about your ex because you see with a six pack now. We're not listening to daddy road. And me have a one pack. We're not listening to daddy road now, Prestige. Because we know how it is. Right, Charmy? Lady Grace says, Prestige, you're now go on. <laughs> Nobody who used to what? curl up. Curl your That was then. Curl your wife. You're no you wife. Can't curl now. Come that was nowhere. Then. Thank you, Grace. I feel proud of myself. Feel proud of so me have it for, for myself. And him did it with his six pack and can't have it. And me have me one pack. So what may I worry about? Oh, what may I, I worry about? It. Yes, but you did not know that they were friends before. No, but and aren't you now thinking that they could still be so, in something going on? I mean, I think that we are there because why would you want to marry me when you're having six pack and look gorgeous isn't and it, look good as what you say? You have more money, you yeah? have more this, you have more that. Some money you married me for. I'm just saying there are women who do it. Yeah? Couldn't it be that she chooses to marry you for varying reasons other than the fact that you don't have a six pack? But if you choose to marry to me, right? And I think about that but man. The average, you know? the I average think about woman, that man. That if you choose to marry me, right? And I think about that man. You see what I say? Uh-huh. That simple means that this marriage is not gonna work out between me and you. So why would you want to commit yourself in you, a marriage you, you like that? You don't know that women don't do that. You don't and vice versa. You don't know that they don't do it. Yeah. So she, she can she can see you and say, Oh my goodness, he has a one pack and that guy had a six pack and that guy was so mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Prestige is so caring and loving mm-hmm. and considerate. I'm gonna choose him as my husband. Yes. And maybe. Yes. Just maybe. He might be service man. Somewhere there. He might be service man. Okay, maybe come fix the antenna. Yeah. Fix the light. Yeah. Fix the water. Mm. I don't know. Where eyes not see art no leap. <laughs> so yes, I know. Where eyes not Did see Did you see leap. her doing anything with her ring off? You no. Get me? But for you, her ring needed to be there. You get me, I say? No, I'm mean, not get what you say. Because yeah. for you, the ring, when I, when I mean not when it take off, you know, really. Yeah. 
for you, the ring must stick on her finger. That is a traditional thing, and you have to make it stay on your finger. This is how it go. You could be a lawyer. You don't buy a ring. You could be a lawyer. And you don't marry to Lady put a Grace ring on your finger and take it off and put L- it down. Lady Grace says she knows say. You don't want nobody where oh. you used to curl up with your wife. Your yeah. wife now be at your wedding. Yeah. In a the party. A party. So you're on the same table with you and a boss big laugh. Yeah. And I look cross and, yeah. and I smile. Yeah. You want that? So you... what if me and you left and we go out, go to a club, I go to a party. Quickly. And we did there enjoy ourselves. And your ex was uh, your ex is there. Sit down over one side over there and I give you the ice in your way. Where the difference you make? You know, make no difference. What the difference make? You're yeah, there at church. You're sitting at church. You're sitting right you beside your ex. You know why you're talking to right here. You're afraid to acknowledge the feeling you Ooh. would get Me? when you see that man at yeah. that table with you. Mm-hmm. With just the person who is my up with. If you see my ex beside me. Me don't tell her this. I'm shaking her today. Me said, I say that feel. Yes. Me don't yeah. tell her this. I don't want to see her there. Yeah. Worse, I'm just discovering that she is an ex. She need to leave the party right there and then. Heart of love so, says. So none of my ex can't uh, pass and say hi hello to you. You say no ex can't pass and say hi. Me say at my wedding. So me have to tell about my 15 ex them? If they're going to come to my wedding. So for me tell about 12 and you don't know about the next three. If they're going to come to my wedding, yes, I need to know about it. They need, if they're going to be there and, and, in, in, and in the battle party, I need to know about them. I'm mm. sorry. Uh-uh. So if you know about... One out of the 12 where you know about, out of the 15. And you know about one out there or two. And then come at the party. That's okay, because you did not, don't know about them one day already. She can come to the wedding if she, if, if me know her and say, okay, they were friends one yeah. time. Yeah. She can be at the wedding if, she, if, she, if, she, if me and her are a friend like that. Yeah. But in my bridal party, yeah. no way. Uh-uh. We're going to have a problem. Me discovering after the wedding. Yeah. Say so she and you, then they go on with things. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, I go down nicely. I'm sorry. Heart of love. <laughs> heart of love says, <laughs> "I heart of love, I beloved too. Pleasant evening. Good night to you too. Yeah. I expect, I expect prestige. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in me I respect. Wo- yes, I know. <laughs> I will take on the ring thing. Mm. <laughs> this ring thing. Yeah, it don't is don't. My will take on the ring thing is don't get married if you are going to take off your ring." Mm-hmm. From the time we say I do, yeah. is to time indefinite. Yes. I spoke repeatedly about compatibility. Yeah. That's where it is at yeah. for a relationship yeah. to time indefinite. Yeah. This is the relationship Lady Cleo yearn for. Mm-hmm. Right here is real mix up. Yeah. <laughs> love. Yeah. Heart of love. <laughs> yeah. Out of love, oh boy, you said it perfectly. Right here yeah, is mixed up and a half. So you're the man saying, you know, if you take off your ring. <laughs> Neither should you. You never say prestige. You never say Cleo. Me? Eh? Who you think you might refer to? Are you my talk? Eh? Are you my talk because you're seven to take off your ring? No, you might. Ima- he must have to take Cleo. He must have to take Cleo. We men easily lo- um, lose things. Mm. Women know how to take care of things. Yeah. Yes, Donna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she needs to keep on the ring. Yeah. <laughs> you guys dead in me. <laughs> Donna is something else. Donna on your side tonight. Mm. Sadie says, talk of prestige, glory. <laughs> you, gave, you gave Sadie a laugh tonight. I can tell you that. Um, prestige, okay. Grace is saying, I'm gonna know where we know we know man where you say, hold up your hold up your wife to be your, your wife. No, let's see who else is on the line because so, we're on So, if never go and worry about them, can I something that make sense? We're married <laughs> then, can I ever worry about them something the other time? Coach Mark, oh my mm. goodness, I can't believe that. Prestige, mm. if I couldn't take off my ring, tell me how on God's earth your ex going to come. Thank you very much, sweetheart. How on God's earth your ex gonna come to a wedding? There is absolutely no way your ex coming to my wedding. Real talk, Marcy. <laughs> that the like next one, you're back, you Yes, you man. He's your fire yes. up now. Coach Mark. Your fire up, Coach Mark. Coach Mark says <laughs> yeah. for the first yeah. time. Coach Marks, we're not friend again. Yeah. By the way, he comes on mm. after this. Mm-hmm. It's power in a half hour, mm. so please tune in. Mm. Coach Mark says, for the first time, I agree with Cleo. For the first time? In coach, 
After all these years for the first time. <laughs> you get something no for ex. Well, guess what? No yeah. ex unless I know beforehand. If yeah. my girlfriend invited him and didn't tell me, yeah. then I will just excuse myself mm. and they can get married. Well, at least he agreed with me on something. Mm. Thank you, Coach Marks. Mm. For the first time, though, that not sound good. She just come drink some wine uh, and eat some cake. Let's see what, what the others are saying quickly. Just come in some wine, drink some wine and eat some cake. Drink some wine, no? Yeah. Me? Wine where? Wine where? Huh. Wine are way out of my wedding. Yes. So we go. That's <laughs> about it for the text line. We want to thank you all so very much tonight for keeping the yeah. show. Oh, my. Osh Kimoy. Watch back the show tomorrow, all right, on YouTube. We want to thank all the friends on the Facebook Live who were locked in, who listened through to the end. All those who were on regular radio dialing, listening through, and um, those who watched via listened rather by the world wide web thank you guys so very much for being with us we love you all for being with us tonight appreciate mm -hmm. love it thanks to all the vox poppers and guess what be good be safe take care of someone who needs taken care of people who are less fortunate give a helping hand and show some love because love is really what makes this world go round all round right round and round so until round. next week on mm -hmm. behalf of our engineer Cassidy and my crazy co-host oh. <laughs> Prestige. It's bye for now until next time. Lady Grace, one final one. Lady Grace said, the one the wine wet end up on our dress. <laughs> ah, yes. Grace, she we gonna, know you don't do that. She's gonna spill it. Grace, we All know right, that. guys. Until next week, we're out of time. See you. Bye-bye. This is Styles FM.